There we go. We say good morning to you. We are broadcasting live on a rainy Thursday. We're Champion Chevrolet on the Bristol Motor Mile, Johnson City. We thank you for being with us, and we've got a full slate ready to go today. I can tell you that, as always, we're live here at the home of Tim Copenhaver and Cletus Green and Kristen Martin and, oh gosh, the whole kit and caboodle of the folks here ready to roll again, and they are. Uh, again, with some great specials here the month of June. We're going to tell you all about that coming up where you've got, uh, gosh, discounts coming off of all the crew and double cab LT trucks. You've got Equinox on sale. Traverse got discounts on them. Corvette Stingrays are on sale. The Volts, the Impalas, uh, Equinoxes, they're all here. And, again, they got them marked down as the number one Chevy dealer in the state. Again, nobody sells more cars in the state of Tennessee under the Chevrolet brand than the good folks here at Champion Chevrolet on the Bristol Motor Mile, Johnson City. It is a Thursday, June the 22nd. We always start our show dedicating to the man who hung on the cross. It goes like this. The verse is very simple. It says, Fear not, for I have redeemed you. I have called you by your name. You are mine. How about that? That's the Lord himself saying, You are mine. Whew. Fear not, for I have redeemed you. I have called you by your name. You are mine out of the book of Isaiah, Isaiah 43, 1. And so we, uh, again, appreciate that very, very much as we are here broadcasting live again at Champion Chevrolet on the Bristol Motor Mile in Johnson City. Again, on this rainy Thursday, peppering down the rain. They're talking some, uh, the remnants of Tropical Storm Cindy. So they're talking about a chance of having some uh, pretty serious rains coming in here over the next couple of days to the tune of, mm, they're talking upwards of maybe three inches of rain before it's all said and done. So, uh, again, We'll have to kind of bat down the hatches. It's peppering down the rain out there now, and we'll continue to do so. Uh, not good news for Appalachian League Baseball. It's their opening night tonight. We'll tell you who's supposed to be playing where, but it looks like it may be in jeopardy this evening for sure as it is, uh, uh, again, raining. and looks like it's supposed to be raining all the way through Saturday. So we'll keep an eye out of the sky and an ear right here. We'll keep you up to date with the weather here on the Tom Taylor Sports Show. Guests coming up today are going to be joined by Kristen Martin and Cletus Green from right here at Champion Chevrolet. Andy's on assignment today, so he has passed the torch on to Kristen Martin and Cletus Green. will join be joined with those folks coming up here in a little while. Joe Schmalling, the CEO of the Super Stock, Super Stock Car Racing Series, is going to be here at the bottom of the hour. It's pretty cool stuff. Have him on the show. Also, Carmichael joins us, and also Kevin Harmon, NBA draft going on today. So Carmichael will have the insight to that, I'm sure. And, of course, Kevin's got his UT Sports update. So got lots of good things going on, and we're looking forward to, again, talking all about sports here. We've got the baseball update. We've got uh, NFL news. We've got NASCAR news. Uh, the win last week was encumbered which means uh, the win was under a cloud of controversy in the Xfinity Series with Denny Hamlin. So uh, all that coming up we'll be talking about here on the Tom Taylor Sports Show. We'll take a first break, come right back, and we'll jump in here. We'll take a look at Major League Baseball, see what's going on last night at the Bigs, who did what, who won, who lost. Daniel Norris pitches tonight for the Detroit Tigers. We'll tell you all about that, and we'll take our first break and come right back, and we'll take a look at Major League Baseball. We'll do that coming up next. We're here live at Champion Chevrolet. Be sure and like us and share us. Again, hello to the folks in West Virginia. Got a big pocket of folks in West Virginia watching the show, and we appreciate that very, very much, of course, here in the Tri-Cities. So we'll take a quick break. We'll come back take a look at Major League Baseball here on the Tom Taylor Sports Show, show number 544. Again, brought to you by, as you see on the hat, the good folks from Grip Energy Drink. Again, with those great flavors available all food cities. And so we say thanks to Grip, and we say thanks to you, and we certainly say thanks to Champion Chevrolet. Quick break. We'll be right back. We'll talk in baseball here on the Tom Taylor Sports Show. At American Import and Auto Repair in Johnson City, one of the eight areas of your vehicle that takes constant continuing education is the air conditioner on your vehicle. Well, you would think that AC would be a simple one, but it's getting to be uh, – a lot bigger than just AC. It's it's the management of the system, not just AC, but heat and everything. It's a lot more computer controlled than it used to be. It used to be just a little button on the dash that you pushed. Now there's all kinds of electronics involved in that. Braking systems it used to be fairly simple. Now some of the newer vehicles you have to have a computer to actually operate the braking system to make sure that it's okay after you've worked on it. Computer control in the, of the engine is becoming very important. There's a lot to that. Each one of these areas, are, the, the technology has just tripled and quadrupled in the last few years. It's hard to keep up. You really need to stay in the books and know what's going on with them. American Import Auto Repair, Johnson City, open six days a week. Call today at 913-3111. Blue Lizard Australian Sunscreen originated in Australia, where sunscreen standards are the strictest in the world. 
Although our products are now manufactured here in the U.S., we continue to adhere to the most stringent Australian standards to offer the best in broad-spectrum sun protection. Blue Lizard, the brand most recommended by pediatricians and dermatologists. Our smart bottle turns blue in the presence of UV rays, reminding you to cover up. You bring the sun, Blue Lizard brings the magic. It's Friday night at 7 o'clock. You've been involved in a car accident. You may be out of state on vacation or just a few miles from home. What do you do? Who do you call? At Farmers Insurance Group, one call is all you have to make. Hello, this is Jim Klein, an agent with Farmers Insurance. It's called One and Done. You don't have to wait till Monday morning to file a claim. You can make the initial call and we'll begin right away to help you. We assist you in moving the vehicle to a certified repair shop, getting you set up with rental car, and informing your agent. Then here are the staff at Jim Klein Farmers Insurance. We follow the claim through to the end. It's that easy. One and done. We're your one and done location for all your insurance needs. Auto, home, life, commercial, workers' comp, and bonds. We can help you with all your insurance needs. Give me a call today, Jim Klein, Jim Klein Farmers Insurance at 247-5400, your one and done location in Kingsport, 247-5400. Hi, I'm Rob Cole with Bays Mountain Park. There's something for everyone at Bays Mountain Park. Whether you're an outdoor enthusiast or simply looking to get away and relax, Bays Mountain Park in Kingsport, Tennessee is the perfect destination. For only $4 per vehicle, enjoy 3,500 acres of breathtaking scenery, featuring 40 miles of hiking trails, wildlife habitats, one of the southeast premier planetariums, and much, much more. For more information, please visit www.bayswmountainpark.com. BaysMountain.com, or call us at 423-229-9447. Bays Mountain Park, one of the Tri-City's best places for learning, leisure, and recreation. Back on the Tom Taylor Sports Show. Thanks for being with us. Show number 544. Easy to find us, TomTaylorSports.com or on Facebook. Again, like us and share us, and you do, and we thank you for that. Just got a text that's looking good in West Virginia. Thank you very much, and you're looking good in West Virginia, too. So there you go. We got uh, Joe Schmeling going to join us coming up here in just a few minutes. The CEO, I'm pretty excited about this. Thanks to Bill Patrick making this happen. The Super Stock uh, CEO of the Super Stock uh, Car Racing Series. He's going to join us coming up here in a few minutes. Let's, as promised, look, take a look at Major League Baseball. What happened last night to the Bigs? And yesterday afternoon, first off, in the National League, it was Miami defeating Washington 2-1. Tampa Bay Reds back to the moments of their old selves. They got beat 8-3. San Diego with the Cubbies 3-2. Cardinals beat Philadelphia in 10 innings 7-6. We'll talk about these teams coming up here in just a minute. Milwaukee beat Pittsburgh 4-3. Bravos beat San Francisco 5-3. It was Arizona all over Colorado 16-5. And the Dodgers continue to beat up on Met pitching. They beat the Mets last night. 8-2 8-2 to two at Dodger Stadium in Chavez Ravine in Los Angeles. In the American League, it was at Kansas City over Boston, 6-4. to four. Cleveland beat the Orioles, 5-1. to one. Yankees doubled up the Angels, 8-4, to four to snap a seven-game skid. Minnesota over the White Sox, 4-2. Toronto, Texas, it was the Blue Jays playing some pretty solid baseball now. Tampa Bay, or rather Toronto, starting to make a little bit of noise. Toronto beats Texas in Texas, 7-5. to five. Houston, the winningest team in baseball, no problem in Oakland, winning 5-1. to one. And Detroit and Seattle, the Mariners lose again, or rather the Tigers lose again. Mariners got them 7-5 to five last night in the Pacific Northwest. So here is your schedule for today. We start off in Afternoon Affairs, Chicago at Minnesota in the getaway game. Also, you have Toronto at Texas. Also, a day game, Houston and Oakland wrap up their series on the left coast. Tonight, under the lights, Cleveland and Baltimore. The Angels against the Yankees in Yankee Stadium. And Daniel Norris of Johnson City, Tennessee, on the mound for the Detroit Tigers with a record of 4-4. Four and four. Dean over the great outing last time out. He'll pitch tonight in Seattle in that getaway game. And so it'll be a 10-10 first pitch. We'll let you know tomorrow we're going to be live at Blue Lizard Australian Sunscreen. We'll be there tomorrow broadcasting live, and so we'll let you know tomorrow how Daniel Norris does tonight for the Detroit Tigers pitching in the Pacific Northwest in Seattle. In the National League, day games, Cardinals in Philadelphia to wrap that one up. Pittsburgh and Milwaukee, 221st pitch. Also, you have Arizona and Colorado all day game affairs tonight. 
Under the lights, it is Jaime Garcia and the Braves hosting San Francisco in that getaway game. Cubbies in Miami, and New York will be wrapping things up in Los Angeles. Looking ahead for the weekend series is in the National League, Cincinnati will be in Washington for the weekend. Cubs in Miami, it'll be Atlanta hosting Milwaukee. Cardinals back home taking on the red-hot Pittsburgh Pirates. Philadelphia will be at Arizona this weekend. Colorado will be at Los Angeles. Detroit continues their West Coast road swing, leaving Seattle after tonight. They'll open up a series tomorrow in San Diego to battle the Padres and interleague play for the weekend. And the Mets will move down the down the uh, Pacific or down the West Coast, I should say, and take on leaving L.A. and taking on the San Francisco Giants. In the American League, weekend series is starting tomorrow night. Texas and New York to battle the Yankees. Baltimore down in Florida, Tampa Bay. Angels at Boston, Fenway Park, Minnesota at Cleveland, Oakland will be in Chicago to battle the White Sox, Toronto at Kansas City, as we told you, Detroit at San Diego, and the hottest team in baseball, the Houston Astros, will be in Seattle to battle the Mariners. College World Series, yesterday it was the Florida State Seminoles being sent home. LSU eliminates the Seminoles in the double elimination play. One game today in the winner's bracket, Texas Christian at 48-17, and 17, taking on the Louisville Cardinals at 53-11. and 11. Those two teams coming out of the winner's bracket playing tonight in Omaha in the College World Series. As we told you, the Appalachian League baseball season scheduled to get started tonight. A lot of rain coming down now, a lot of rain forecast through Saturday here in the region. Bluefield will be in Greenville tonight, the Battle of the Astros. The Cardinals here in Johnson City hosting Bristol. The Elizabethan Twins opening things up tonight against the Danville Braves in Elizabethan at O'Brien Field. Kingsport on the road to Burlington tonight, and Princeton will take on Pulaski. The Princeton Devil Rays and the Pulaski Yankees will get with it, scheduled, of course, in Pulaski, Virginia. Before we go to the break and bring in our buddy Joe Schmeling again, let's run down some of the Major League Baseball games from last night. Yankees end that seven-game losing streak. Matt Holliday homered and doubled for the Bronx Bombers. At the age of 37, Matt Holliday already has hit 15 home runs this season. He hasn't hit 22 in a year since 2012. So uh, Matt Holliday at the age of 37 having a pretty good campaign for New York. With the Red Sox loss, the Yankees are back in first place. But stopping the losing streak was much more important to the Yanks for the moment in first place in the American League East. Also in Major League Baseball, Max, Max Scherzer. Check this out. This guy was on his way to a no-hitter yesterday. Came within five outs of getting a no-hitter in a getaway day matinee game with the Marlins. Scherzer had a no-no against the Pirates and the New York Mets previously, so uh, this guy's off and, and having a heck of a run. But all of a sudden, <laughs> this is how things change very quickly in Major League Baseball. Anyway, he goes from having a no-hitter to a, a bunt, AJ, I'm, I'm sorry, uh, A.J. Ellis's infield single off his glove in the eighth inning. Uh, so Scherzer, again, hangs around. Uh, to make a long story short, they open things up, and they go ahead and win the ball game. So Scherzer goes from having a no-hitter against the Marlins to Miami, again, having a heck of a finish up, and uh, they end up beating the Washington Nationals 2-1 to one with Scherzer with a no-hitter. And then all of a sudden it blows up and they blow up. And the Marlins spot two and play two and win the ball game. Justin Verlander was off and having a great start with the Detroit Tigers last night. Again, went five and a third of perfect baseball. But then Jared Dyson dropped a perfect bunt towards the first baseline. That kind of opened things up. Detroit kind of came apart. Mariners go on to win their fourth straight. And the Tigers have lost five in a row. And things aren't looking good for Brad Osmus, the manager for the Detroit Tigers. What else happening in Major League Baseball? Last night, Kansas City. Salvador Perez, the catcher for the Royals, hits a grand salami late in the ball game as they go on to beat the Boston Red Sox 6-4, to four, the final there. And also you have the Indians beginning to play some hot baseball. They have won seven out of the last eight. Meantime, the Orioles in the American League allowing at least five runs in a game again. Their American League record increases to 18 consecutive games have allowed at least five runs or more. The Major League Baseball record is 20. That's not good either. And then also you have the Giants in the National League. Check out these numbers. The San Francisco Giants, how bad are they right now? This time last year they had the best record of the All-Star break a year ago at 57-33. and 33. Since then, the Giants have won 57 and lost 89. They've been the worst team in baseball since the All-Star break a year ago. And it's not getting any better for San Francisco. They are currently right now in the cellar at 27-46 and 46 on the year. Also for the St. Louis Cardinals, again, the Cardinals a win as a win last night, beating the Phillies, who are the worst team in the National League. Cardinals are 8-12 and 12 the month of June. Five of those wins have come against the worst team in baseball, the Phillies, so eh, not so good. Cardinals aren't there yet, but they're beginning to play a little bit better baseball. Michael Walker, the starter, 
guy was lights out a year ago. This year he is with an ERA of 8.86 in his last five starts and ended up allowing three runs in the first inning against the Phillies last night. They were tackling two more, so uh, Michael Walker still has uh, – he gave up five runs and nine hits and four innings of work as the Cardinals starter. And so that, of course, is an area he has to improve on as the St. Louis Cardinals right now at 33-37, and 37, four out as they start to tonight's game against the Phillies in the getaway game on a 105 first pitch. Finally, in baseball, Tim Tebow received an apology from the minor league team that spent a whole series clowning him, making fun of him. And so now they've come back and said, we're sorry, and we were way out of line. It was pretty a uh, uh, low life move, classless move, and it was. And so Tebow gets an apology from the team that had spent the whole series clowning him. And the Reds bring up starting pitcher Luis Castillo to start Friday's game. Castillo uh, again picked up in a trade over the winter for the Cincinnati Reds. And that's a look at Major League Baseball. Again, the Appalachian League schedule tonight, weather permitting. Again, it'll be Bluefield in Greenville. The Cardinals here in Johnson City playing host to Bristol. Danville will be in Elizabethan. Kingsport on the road to Burlington. And Princeton at Pulaski. Again, opening night for Appalachian League Baseball. Looks like it may be in jeopardy with this front. The remnants, they say, of Tropical Storm Cindy in the area. Quick break. We'll be right back. We will go from baseball to racing. Oh, yes. The young man who is the CEO of the Super Stock Car Racing Series, Joe Schmeling, joins us coming up next year. We're live at Champion Chevrolet on show number 544 of the Tom Taylor Sports Show. At American Import and Auto Repair in Johnson City, one of the eight areas of your vehicle that takes constant continuing education is the air conditioner on your vehicle. Well, you would think that AC would be a simple one, but it's getting to be uh, a lot bigger than just AC. It's it's the management of the system, not just AC, but heat and everything. It's a lot more computer controlled than it used to be. It used to be just a little button on the dash that you pushed. Now there's all kinds of electronics involved in that. Braking systems it used to be fairly simple. Now some of the newer vehicles, you have to have a computer to actually operate the braking system to make sure that it's okay after you've worked on it. Computer control in the, of the engine is becoming very important. There's a lot to that. Each one of these areas, are, the, the technology has just tripled and quadrupled in the last few years. It's hard to keep up. You really need to stay in the books and know what's going on with them. American Import and Auto Repair, Johnson City, open six days a week. Call today at 913-3111. Blue Lizard Australian Sunscreen originated in Australia, where sunscreen standards are the strictest in the world. Although our products are now manufactured here in the U.S., we continue to adhere to the most stringent Australian standards to offer the best and broad-spectrum sun protection. Blue Lizard, the brand most recommended by pediatricians and dermatologists. Our smart bottle turns blue in the presence of UV rays, reminding you to cover up. You bring the sun, Blue Lizard brings the magic. It's Friday night at 7 o'clock. You've been involved in a car accident. You may be out of state on vacation or just a few miles from home. What do you do? Who do you call? At Farmers Insurance Group, one call is all you have to make. Hello, this is Jim Klein, an agent with Farmers Insurance. It's called One and Done. You don't have to wait till Monday morning to file a claim. You can make the initial call and we'll begin right away to help you. We assist you in moving the vehicle to a certified repair shop, getting you set up with rental car, and informing your agent. Then here are the staff at Jim Klein Farmers Insurance. We follow the claim through to the end. It's that easy. One and done. We're your one and done location for all your insurance needs. Auto, home, life, commercial, workers' comp, and bonds. We can help you with all your insurance needs. Give me a call today, Jim Klein, Jim Klein Farmers Insurance at 247-5400, your one-and-done location in Kingsport, 247-5400. Hi, I'm Rob Cole with Bays Mountain Park. There's something for everyone at Bays Mountain Park. Whether you're an outdoor enthusiast or simply looking to get away and relax, Bays Mountain Park in Kingsport, Tennessee is the perfect destination. For only $4 per vehicle, enjoy 3,500 acres of breathtaking scenery, featuring 40 miles of hiking trails, wildlife habitats, one of the southeast's premier planetariums, and much, much more. For more information, please visit www.baysmountain.com or call us at 423-229-9447. Bays Mountain Park, one of the Tri-City's best places for learning, leisure, and recreation.
We're back with the Tom Douglas Ford Show. There I am, and there he is, Joe Schmeling, the CEO of the Super Stock Car Racing Series, Super Cup Stock Car Series, Big Zach. Bill told me it was Super Stock Car Racing Series, but that's okay. We know who he is. He is Joe Schmeling. He's joined us here as the CEO. Appreciate you coming out on a rainy day. And, uh, of course, I love the slogan at the top of your card, racing the way it used to be. I like it. Super Cup Stock Car Series. Tell me about it. We started the uh, series in 2007 at Hickory. It was... uh an idea put together by five of us who uh, saw a need for affordable stock car racing and uh, we held an exhibition race at Hickory in uh, 2007 and it was well received and we started the series in 2008 and we're now in our 10th year. Awesome and going strong so tell me what kind of cars are involved in this Super Cup stock car series? What will we see on the track? What you'll see on the track is something that you may have seen in a Winston Cup car in the past, a, an ARCA car, a, a Hooters Pro Cup car. These are full-size stock cars, 600 horsepower, and they get the job done. Get after it, huh? Put, they the, get after put the pedal it. to the metal and go. Roar, yes, as they say. Racing the way it used to be. We're talking to Joe again. The Super Cup, by the way, the website, Super Cup Stock, uh, St- Super Cup stock Car Series. Say that fast three times. SuperCupStockCarSeries.com is the website. So, uh, also coming up here in just a few minutes, Krista Martin joins us here from Champion Chevrolet. I see her waiting in the wings over there. Talk to us about Internet sales here at Champion. Again, Andy's away on assignment, so uh, she'll be in here with us. And also Cletus joins us a little bit later on. Cletus Green from, from Champion Chevrolet, the number one champion dealership in the entire state of Tennessee. They're getting ready to send a, a truck out of here. Uh, they, in fact, what's really cool, it's pouring down the range. They pull up underneath the overhang, as they say, or the front porch, and they're letting the customers, so they don't get wet, Pull, get right up into the truck and back out of here. I thought that was kind of a neat little thing. So another truck flying out of here from Champion Chevrolet here on this rainy morning. So we sell cars and trucks in the rain here at Champion. We sell them all the time in the Bristol Motor Mile. So, uh, again, you look at this series, and so uh, how do you qualify to be a driver in the series? Is it a point system? Kind of tell me how this works. There's a point system like any other series that we run. Um, we post the purse. Uh, we have uh, we schedule races. We I primarily schedule races where my people are. Mm -hmm. It's the most important thing to keep their cost of traveling down. But that being said, we've we've got competitors from Muncie, Indiana, Walnut Pork, uh, Pennsylvania that are registered cars that race with us every time, every race. But we also have cars from New Jersey. We have cars from Springfield, Massachusetts. Um, So we try to put races, what's the best travel for the most? This year is the first time in in 10 years that we're actually looking to expand back into the southern part of the country. So we've started a a Southern Point series, uh, which would have started tomorrow night. Unfortunately, uh, an uninvited guest in Cindy showed up, so we're Mm -hmm. not going to be able to get this done. But uh, we have four local cars out of Johnson City, Tennessee that are owned by Mike Potter. It's a name that I imagine everyone in this part of the country knows. Absolutely. Uh, Brad Teague has come out of retirement to race with us, mm-hmm. so uh, we're, we're really excited to have them, but unfortunately they're going to have to wait until either come to Jennerstown in Pennsylvania in two weeks or wait till we come back to Lonesome Pine in August. But uh, our series has grown every year for 10 years, slow growth, but positive growth so we're very very pleased with where we're at but, and again racing the way it used to be it used to be fun and we the most important thing to bring to a super cup race is a good attitude some chairs and a cooler there you go and from there just enjoy some great racing here we're talking to joe schmelling again the ceo of the super cup stock car series so i'm assuming based on the fact these are older cars and most of your drivers would be baby boomers a little bit older folks that that Drew, drove these cars back in the day, and so uh, is that a fair statement that most of the drivers are older? Yes, the average age of our drivers is 45 years old. Figured that. So we, we've got very experienced drivers, good cars, short race tracks, good racing. Now you've got tracks, and we were talking off here, you race in West Virginia, you raced there in the past in Ona, where I'm from, uh, you race, of course, you're going to be at Kingsport Speedway tomorrow night, but it got rained out with Tropical Storm Cindy, so... Uh, where are some of the other tracks you guys will be at this year? I'm sure the schedule's on the website, right? Yes, and one thing, when they look up our schedule, if they just Google SCSCS and push enter, it'll take them right to our site, and they don't have to write in all of those words. SCSCS, push enter, takes you right to our site. 
Huh, that's so pretty cool. Pretty cool. That's, I can do that. Yes, I can do that too. That's why I want to make sure that I pass that information. There along. you go. I can do that. Even I can pull that one off. So, but, uh, but you do have tracks all over the south and all over the northeast, right? Yes, right. Uh, this year, like I said, we were scheduled to be here at Kingsport. We're at Lonesome Pine. We're at Jennerstown, Pennsylvania. Uh, we were at Midvale, Ohio, three weeks ago. Uh, all of the races this year were scheduled for twin 50 races, trying to have five outings. Uh, 10 points races by doing twin races at each race. Um, unfortunately, now we're too short because of uh, Cindy. But uh, we also have a special event coming up at the Dominion Raceway in Thornburg, Virginia in September. First time we've ever been to that racetrack. Brand new racetrack. And it is scheduled as a special event, but it'll wind up now being a Southern Points event to make up for this. Unless we get this rescheduled. So we were, uh, we'll talk with management next week at Kingsport and see if we can't get this thing rescheduled this year yet. Now typically your races, are they standalone events or is a part of a racing ticket for the night? We come into a racetrack as part of their show and the reason that we do that is is, uh, we can come in and bring our show to a local racetrack, give them something different to entertain their people uh, at a cost that makes it affordable for the racetrack to bring it in. I don't have to bring in all my cleanup people, safety people, emergency people, the racetracks already have that. So I can bring my show to any racetrack in a cost-effective way. You mentioned Mike Potter. Again, we're talking again to, as you see on the screen, Joe Schmeling, the CEO of this series. And we're live here at Champion Chevrolet coming up. Krista Martin joins us coming up here in just a few minutes. So a young lady that works in the Internet Sales Department. They sell a bunch of vehicles off the Internet here at Champion Chevrolet. Again, 50 over 50 dealerships in the state. It's the number one Chevy dealer in the state from memphis to mountain city nobody sells more chevrolets than this dealership right here and with good reason i got fantastic folks where i bought my car and and i love my little machine i bought here back in september so uh, i can give you a first-hand testimonial they do a phenomenal job got all kinds of specials going on right now again here at champion chevrolet for the month uh case in point and we'll get back to joe in just a second the crew and double cab lt trucks all stars eleven thousand dollars off that's what's going out of here right now Actually, that's a Silverado, but it's going out of here. But this is an $11,000 right off the top, all crew and double cab LT trucks, all-stars. Also, you have, uh, for any of the 2017 Traverse LT models, 20% off the MSRP right off the top. If you're getting ready to buy a Stingray, we've got one right here in the showroom. We'll show it to you in just a second. Uh, 13% off Corvette Stingrays. Again, all the Stingrays are on sale. They've been selling a bunch of them. In fact, last week when we were here, I don't know how many to here now, but last week they had 700 new and 150 used vehicles on the lot here at Champion Chevrolet. And even though it's peppering down the rain, it has been a busy morning here already here at Champion Chevrolet in the Bristol Motor Mile in Johnson City. So we mentioned Mike Potter. We mentioned Brad Tig here locally. Folks know those names. Who are some of the more notable names that folks would would recognize that uh, are racing in this series that are kind of uh, name droppers? I don't know how many local people would know our our people, but all of our people have raced all the way up to the Winston Cup level at one time in their career. John Curley is one of Mike Potter's drivers. Mm -hmm. Um, uh, Ben Ebling is a uh, one of Mike Potter's race car drivers. He came to our race at Lonesome Pine last year, first time at the racetrack, first time in our car, and won the race. Just absolutely thrills me to to no end. Uh, Three weeks ago at at Midvale, we had two first-time winners. That just excites me more than anything I can think of to have a first-time winner. And probably works for them, too. It probably makes their day, too, to go out to them the first time on the track and and, and taste success. So uh, kind of cars we see on the track, what do we see out there right now? Uh, like I said, these are full-size cars, they, and we have a little bit of everything. Chevrolets, Fords, uh, Tauruses, uh, Fusions, uh, Monte Carlos. We've got a new 2017 uh, body that we just approved for the Chevrolet SS that would have been here. It's on our site. They can see it right now. Mm-hmm. Beautiful race car. Uh, but this is a family series. Uh, it's like I said earlier, bring a cooler, bring some chairs, bring a good attitude. Uh, uh, our guys are very competitive, but the competition is between the green flag and the checker flag. There you go. Great report. What do you want to leave us with this morning, my friend? I appreciate you coming by again. They're going to race tomorrow night again in Kingsport with the rain. They've, they've canceled all the racing tomorrow night at the uh, Concrete Jungle simply because of, as he said, that old girl named Cindy got us, the remnants of Tropical Storm Cindy. So 
Uh, I know Appalachian League Baseball is kind of in jeopardy tonight, and I know the racing, as he said, canceled tomorrow night. Hopefully they can reschedule bring the series back into town. I think a lot of folks around here would enjoy seeing the uh, Super Cup Stock Car Series. So what do you want to leave us with today, my friend? Well, I would like to leave the people uh, at Kingsport. We want to uh, thank them for their interest in our series, and we will be back here in the area uh, in August, first week in August at Lonesome Pine, and hopefully be back at Kingsport before that. The other, on the other note, I want to thank the people here at Champion Chevrolet for hosting this today. Uh, in fact, uh, I have the salesman now working on uh, trading my truck in on a new one, so I might be driving home here with a brand new Champion Chevrolet. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. I, I, what I want them to do is, uh, I want to be able to say, uh, how do they do that? How like do they, they do that? The commercial. There's uh, the man makes it happen right there, one of the co-owners, and Here's the neat thing about this dealership. When you come in here, the co-owners are sitting up front. They're not hiding behind some desk in some off-the-wall, I mean, out-of-the-way out of uh, office. Tim Copenhaver and Andy Dietrich office. are here. <laughs> Got my new truck. They're right there. And, of course, Tim's <laughs> sitting right up there as we speak. Andy's away on assignment. But uh, So you came in to do the show. He may go out here with a truck. Never can. I, <laughs> they call me GM Joe. I drive Chevrolets. So. Amen, brother. Bow ties. You got it. <laughs> Bow ties the way it goes. So. Joe, thank you. Anytime you're back in town or we want to get you, if anytime you want to do a phone interview with me, uh, we can set that up because I want to help promote you as much as I can. All right? Well, we appreciate all you do. You have all my information, and I live right here in Jonesboro. Oh, you live here in yes. town? Awesome. That's even better. So, well, so that's even much better because I'm, I'm all <laughs> over the place. So, yes, we will have you back on the show for sure because he lives right here in the oldest town in Tennessee in Jonesboro. Joe, thank you, my friend. Give me some taters. All right. Thank Good you man very right much. There. We'll take a break. We'll come right back. We'll go from Joe to Kristen. She joins us next. Young lady does internet sales here at Champion Chevrolet on the Tom Taylor Sports Show. At takeoff, an NHRA top fuel dragster braves the same intense G-forces as an astronaut leaving Cape Canaveral. For power that's out of this world, don't miss the NHRA Thunder Valley Nationals at Bristol Dragway. Tickets start at just $30 and every ticket is a pit pass. Witness the raw power of 10,000 horses June 16th through the 18th. Visit ThunderValleyTicks.com or call 423-BRISTOL. It's raining savings at Champion Chevrolet on the Motor Mile in Johnson City. We have a massive selection of over 700 new Chevrolets to choose from, with 400 of them Silverados. Silverado Crew and Double Cab LTs, 11,000 off MSRP, 20% off 17 Equinox and Traverse LT, 15% off Silverado HD gas engine. Don't miss out on the best savings of the year to purchase a new Chevy. Saturday parts and service hours and shopping online 24-7. Champion Chevrolet on the Motor Mile in Johnson City, where we leave you asking, how do they do that? At American Import and Auto Repair in Johnson City, one of the eight areas of your vehicle that takes constant continuing education is the air conditioner on your vehicle. Well, you would think that AC would be a simple one, but it's getting to be uh, a lot bigger than just AC. It's, it's the management of the system, not just AC, but heat and everything. It's a lot more computer controlled than it used to be. It used to be just a little button on the dash that you pushed. Now there's all kinds of electronics involved in that. Braking systems used to be fairly simple. Now some of the newer vehicles you have to have a computer to actually operate the braking system to make sure that it's okay after you've worked on it. Computer control in the, of the engine is becoming very important. There's a lot to that. Each one of these areas, are, the, the technology has just tripled and quadrupled in the last few years. It's hard to keep up. You really need to stay in the books and know what's going on with them. American Import Auto Repair, Johnson City, open six days a week. Call today at 913-3111. From the driveways where your kids play basketball and ride their bicycles to the parking lots at your local church or grocery store, Bracken Paving is an important part of many neighborhoods in our area. No matter how large or how small the job, Bracken strives for excellence in every service they provide. It's a foundation for a strong community. Discover the difference at Bracken Paving and Asphalt Maintenance. Give us a call or visit us online at brackenpaving.com. Your life is always changing. You never know what shape it will take or how your financial needs might change. But if we talk about your investments and how they can provide for you and your family, the future becomes clear. At Wells Fargo Advisors, we believe conversation leads to financial clarity. Let's start a conversation today.
Back on the Tom Taylor Sports Show again, show number 544 tomorrow. Brand new location. We'll be with Jeff Bedard and the gang at Blue Lizard Australian Sunscreen. It is, uh, I think he's going to tell us tomorrow, it has been not recognized, but earned one of the top ten small businesses as far as growth in America. It just went to a $1 million renovation down in South Johnson City. goes all over the country. Blue Lizard Australian Sunscreen will be there tomorrow broadcasting live. One of our great sponsors. Been with us since day once. Just like Champion Chevrolet, but we've never done a show from Blue Lizard, but we're fixing to start doing it all the time. We're here every Thursday. Andy is way on assignment. Who knows where he's at, but uh, we've bumped in for the beauty. This be the beast. This be the beauty. Kristen Martin, <laughs> the champion internet sales. Good morning, young lady. How you doing? Good morning. I'm good. How are you? Good. Have you ever done this before? Never done this. Uh, it's not going to bother her. I'm telling you, she's a trooper. <laughs> she's, uh, as I say back home, she's tougher than the pine knot. She's not going to let this bother her. So you do internet sales. And of course, the website is championjc.com. And step us through. I'm out there. I get to the website. I see, I don't know, let's pick, pick anything out there. A XYZ vehicle that I like. I see it on the internet. Take me from there. What happens? Okay. What happens is you go onto our website and you see we've got a ton of inventory right now. We've got over 300 trucks and 700 cars all total. But when you get onto the website, you can start narrowing things down as to what you're looking for and what's important to you. And you can do a lot of different things with us once you're on our website. You can send us an email. You can text us or you can chat live with us. So there's a lot of different options. Or you can pick up the phone and call us, of course, too. So. Yep. And that number, of course, is 282-2121. So yes. you can narrow down to, to the particular make mm -hmm. for your price range. Uh, and the neat thing is, what's the young lady takes all the pictures of the vehicles? Uh, the lady who takes all the pictures uh, that's here? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I don't actually know her name. That's horrible. But she does take all the pictures, and that helps us to, to yeah. be able to see exactly what we've got sitting here. So I think Andy told me one time every car has like 18 different pictures at least. So when you Yeah, get, absolutely. So by the time you see the car you're looking for, once you click on the one mm -hmm. you want and kind of, or one you're interested in, she has all those pictures up. You will mm -hmm. actually, like you've been in the car and not – not even been on the lot yet, so she takes that many pictures of everything. Mm -hmm. so a lot of our new cars have 30 plus pictures, so you can really see exactly what you, you know, getting that way. So, you pick the car, you pick the price, mm -hmm. you pick the model, pick the mate, or like, let's say you got two or three in the price range you want, or, or the make you want, then what happens next, you say, we get in touch with you? You can get in touch with us, and we can do pretty much everything by email or phone we can do the pricing we can do the credit application and we can have everything ready when you get here we make it really easy so we actually sell cars to people all over the country surprisingly that way <laughs> well i tell this every time i'm over here but it's, it's been about a month or so ago now so the guy came in with a west virginia ball cap on of course anytime mm -hmm. i see that i ask that's where i'm from and he was he had driven down from new martinsville west virginia which is about he said six hours from here a hard six and bought a car because he saw it on the internet mm -hmm. and all the uh, prices and the discounts and everything uh, he said I couldn't touch it up there or anywhere between here and there then I was in here back in February there's a couple stood right there and and uh, they started watching the show struck up a conversation with them they were from Fort Oglethorpe Georgia which is down below Chattanooga uh -huh. and they had been on the internet got on championjc.com saw something they liked and they came up here and drove up and and bought it and drove it back. Yep, they Happens sure did. all the time, right? Both of those actually happen to be my customers and really great people. And we, you know, no one could touch the pricing. And they even went to their dealers at close closer to home and said, can you guys do this? And they said, nope, sure can't. So it worked out real well for them, worked out for us. And As Tim Cobanaver says, how did they do that? That's so it. <laughs> even in West Virginia, they can't touch it or down in Fort Oglethorpe. So both of those are your customers, huh? Both of yes. Yeah, it was a couple and then a, a single gentleman mm -hmm. came in from West Virginia. So... And Andy's told the story where you go out to the airport, folks, you go out and get the airport folks fly in after being on the internet to see what you've got, and, and you you'll pick them up at the airport and bring them yep. in and sell them a vehicle. Done that many, many times, and I've actually got a, a good buddy of mine that takes care of us on hotel discounts if they want to spend the night and, and spend some time here in the town, so we, we take care of them that way, too. So. And so you wonder why they're the number one Chevy dealer <laughs> in the state. That's why right there it's called customer service. Again, you see on the screen we're talking to Kristen Martin, the champion internet sales. So championjc.com. So right now you said how many uh, ballpark number of vehicles you got on there right now? A little now? over 700 sitting here right now. New and some pre-owned as well, but we've got a ton of inventory. We've got them everywhere. And so <laughs> once uh, once you get one, how fast when somebody comes and does a trade-in does it take to get it up on the internet? They 
to get them on there pretty quick. They get they? them on there pretty quick. The actual vehicle will hit the next morning, and then we'll get pictures on there as quickly as possible. But a lot of times what ends up happening is myself or the other Internet lady ends up taking pictures of that vehicle before they actually are available online, and we'll text them to people or email them to people. That way they have them much quicker. There you go. It's called customer service, and they do a <laughs> wonderful job. ChampionJC.com. Again, the phone number is 423 423- 282-2121 or just go to the website as we said at championjc.com now uh, on a personal note you have a young man that you're very proud of uh, we call him the Culpster. he just graduated recently from science hill high school here in johnson city getting ready to head off why don't you as a proud mama brag on your youngin for a minute i can do Look that at her, granted. she's lit up <laughs> like a christmas tree yeah that's my baby colby is actually headed to university of the cumberlands to play football he's been pretty blessed and received enough to cover it and then some so he he moves in and the first week of august and we're really excited i think it's going to be a good thing we'll keep the roads hot in a champion vehicle watching play football that's right? it yeah. I've, we've already made the trip three times so and we <laughs> hadn't even started yet <laughs> so from here to there is how far it's about two and a half hours not quite no it's it's not far at all it's it's a good trip it's a beautiful trip over the mountain too so and so it's in uh which which town in kentucky it's in williamsburg kentucky it, it's really not far it, head towards Knoxville and go north towards Kentucky and you're there so for a mama it's not very far at all she if I gotta get there quick for my boy I'll be there quick and two hours you can blink and be there because that's it uh, ain't nothing like a mama's love so there you go so uh he'll do great wherever he's at he's a fine young man comes from good stock obviously so mm-hmm. it's all good Kristen's with us so if folks want to talk to you they can on the internet at championjc.com and you can help them and you do it all the time that's what you're here for right that's right yeah good job all right Thank you. That wasn't hard, was it? That wasn't hard. Not no, too bad. No, no. Cletus is coming up here in a little while, so we'll take a break, get him on a little bit later on. We'll take a break, come right back. We'll take a look at NASCAR. we got some problems. Uh, Denny Hamlin won the race last week, but his car and the wind's been encumbered. We'll tell you why, and we'll get you set for the racing this weekend in Iowa for the Truck Series and the Xfinity Series. The Cup guys and Danica will be in Sonoma, California. Kristen Martin, hit the bell. Great job. We'll take a break. We'll be right back. We're live at Champion Chevrolet on the Tom Taylor Sports Show. American Import and Auto Repair in Johnson City takes care of both male and female customers, but owner Kim Smith says they have a special care and concern for ladies. Being a female in what's considered a man's business, I understand the trepidation that women may have when they come to the shop. They feel like they don't know about cars, they might be intimidated, but that's not the way we do business. Everybody's treated the same. We take the time to explain anything that they have questions about, the repair, the process, the part. We want to make sure people are comfortable with what we're going to do to their vehicle and that they understand. We do cater to women in a sense. We have a real nice waiting room with nice Keurig coffee and flavored creamers, air-conditioned, cushioned seats, TV, everything a girl could want while she waits for her car to be fixed. American Import Auto Repair in Johnson City open six days a week. Call today at 913-3111. At Breast Orthotics and Prosthetics, they treat thousands of patients each year dealing with diabetes and its effects. Diabetes overtaking our nation and leaving a path of destruction behind. Through wound care, office visits, and preventive care, they see most of the patients after a problem arises. Using diabetic footwear, such as shoes and inserts, a great way to prevent or prolong skin breakdown and amputation. At Bristol Orthotics and Prosthetics, they use only custom molds from patient mold inserts, which further ensure a great recovery, or better yet, prevents a wound from happening. They use custom molded shoes, bracing, custom inserts, and extra depth diabetic shoes to prevent wounds or other skin issues from beginning. Call today, 1-800-524-4447. 39 years, six locations, one family. Bristol Orthotics and Prosthetics. 1-800-524-4447. If you're catching some waves or just playing in the yard, it is important to protect yourself. You may not feel the sun's heat, but UV rays can still damage your skin even in cloudy weather. Blue Lizard Sunscreen, recommended by pharmacists and dermatologists nationwide. Our SPF 30-plus formulations use only the highest quality ingredients for broad-spectrum protection. As a reminder to protect yourself, our bottle turns blue when UV light is present. Blue Lizard, we've got you covered. From the driveways where your kids play basketball and ride their bicycles to the parking lots at your local church or grocery store, 
Bracken paving is an important part of many neighborhoods in our area. No matter how large or how small the job, Bracken strives for excellence in every service they provide. It's a foundation for a strong community. Discover the difference at Bracken Paving and Asphalt Maintenance. Give us a call or visit us online at BrackenPaving.com. Welcome to the Tom Taylor Sports Show. Thanks for being with us. Thanks again to Kristen Martin. Great job for her, of course, from Champion Chevrolet. Let's take a look at NASCAR. What's going on? Well, we got racing coming up, of course, and you know that by now that we got a big weekend coming up. Uh, again, the Cup drivers will be in Sonoma, California, for the Toyota Save Mart 350. Tony Stewart, the defending champ of that race, of course, he's no longer in the circuit, having retired last year, as you well know. Xfinity Series will be in Iowa Speedway, as are the trucks. The American Ethanol E15 250 will be coming up on Saturday night at 8:30. And then the truck race races tomorrow night at 8.30. The M&M's 200 presented by Casey's General Store, both of those Iowa Speedway, the Camping World Truck Series and the Xfinity Series, and, of course, the Cups, as we said, with all the guys in Danica. We'll be in Sonoma, California, the Save Mart, uh, Toyota Save Mart 350 coming up on Sunday afternoon. So, as we told you earlier in the show, NASCAR handing out penalties yesterday to two Xfinity Series teams and one NASCAR Camping World Truck Series team following last weekend's racing in Michigan International Speedway and Gateway Motorsports Park. An L1 level penalty against the number 20 Xfinity Series team for Joe Gibbs Racing was for splitter structure. The splitter was not flat. As a result, the race win for Denny Hamlin was ruled encumbered. Hamlin does not compete for points in the Xfinity Series, but the win will not give the team any postseason benefits. Uh, i.e. loss of playoff points from that race, so the win has been encumbered. Crew Chief Chris Gabehart fined $25,000, suspended for the next two Xfinity Series championship points events, and the number 20 team was assessed with a loss of 25 owner points. A pretty severe slap on the wrist. Uh, Gabehart fined $25,000, setting out this race and the next race in Daytona. Also, the double zero Stuart Haas Racing Ford driven by Cole Custer issued a safety violation for lug nuts not properly installed after a 10th place finish in Michigan. Crew Chief Jeff Mindering was fined $5,000 off of Cole Custer's team. So, uh, some penalties handed out there. <laughs> Meanwhile, the Camping World Truck Series, the 024 driven by Austin Hill at Gateway, was hit with an L1 level penalty for not meeting post race height requirements. Crew Chief Bruce Cook fined $5,000 and suspended from the next Camping World Truck Series Championship Points event, which is this weekend, of course, in Iowa. And the team was assessed with a loss of 10 driver points and 10 owner points. Hill's 14th place finish was ruled encumbered in that race as well. So that's what's happening in some of the penalties in NASCAR. Denny Hamlin's team, Cole Custer's team, and Austin Hill's team getting some penalties from NASCAR as a result of things they did wrong in fractions last weekend in Michigan and in Iowa. Kyle Larson led a race high in 96 laps on his way to his second win of the season last Sunday in the Firekeepers Casino 400. In the process, he passed Martin Truex Jr. for the points lead and now holds a five-marker advantage over him. And so he is a young man from Elk Grove, California, going back to his home track and home state. Uh, Larson enjoying a breakout season in his fourth full-time uh, Monster Energy NASCAR Cup Series campaign. The 24-year-old Chevrolet driver boasts seven top Two finishes and 15 starts this season, plus a couple of wins under his belt. So, again, driving that bow tie Chevrolet for Kyle Larson and Chip Ganassi Racing. So, having a heck of a year. Truex, Martin Truex Jr., it's doubtful anyone's enjoying stage racing more than Martin Truex Jr. The 78 Furniture Row racing drivers won the first two stages of Michigan to up his stage victories to a, a series leading 10. He now has a series high 20 playoff points via his two checker flags and 10 stage wins. So he's virtually in the playoffs coming up again for the chase for the championship, which is not calling that anymore, but that's what it is. Chase Elliott near, still searching for his first career win. It's starting to heat up as the Monster Energy NASCAR Cup Series season nears its midpoint when it'll be at the halfway point next week in Daytona. Elliott has logged finishes of fifth, eighth, and second in his last three starts. He now sets fifth in the standings, 162 points behind leader Kyle Larson. 
in his two road course races as a Sonoka rookie last year. Elliott placed 21st in Sonoma and 13th in Watkins Glen in New York. A guy ready to go to Sonoma, loves Sonoma. Uh, JT, JTG Dottery Racing's A.J. Allmendinger, always a threat to win the road course. And so last three years he started in the top two at Sonoma. And so he's not finished well, but started well. So, again, it's uh, hopefully a big track for A.J. Allmendinger this weekend driving in Sonoma, California on the road course. Eight different drivers have won the last eight races at Sonoma. Tony Stewart last year, Kyle Busch in 15, Carl Edwards in 2014. Martin Trex Jr. won it in 2013. Clint Boyer won the race in Sonoma back in 2012. Kurt Busch in 2011. And Jimmy Johnson in 2010. And Casey Kane, boy, here's a guy who needs a win. Casey Kane in 2009. In the last 12 years, Sonoma has had 10 different winners in that race, again, coming up this weekend. So parity is the name of the game for the Toyota Savemar 350 this Sunday in Sonoma, California. Kyle Busch, Kurt Busch, Truex, Boyer, Johnson, and Kane are the only active drivers with wins in Sonoma. Kyle Busch, the only active driver to visit Victory Lane at Sonoma twice. So there's the guys that have won if you're looking for odds on favorites to repeat. And do it again going into the race this Sunday. You've got Kyle Busch, Kurt Busch, Martin Drex Jr., Clint Boyer, Jimmy Johnson, and Casey Kane, the only active drivers of one at Sonoma. And Kyle Busch, the only uh, multiple winner. He's won there twice. And so those are the guys going in you would have to think will be favorites for the uh, for the race. More active NASCAR Cup Series drivers are from California than any other state. The drivers from the Golden State, Kevin Harvick, Matt De Benedetto. Kyle Larson, Jimmy Johnson, A.J. Allmendinger, Cole Whit, and Tommy Regan. All those drivers are from California. They're going back home, of course, to race on their track. That would be in the Cup Series, the NASCAR Xfinity Series. Veteran Elliott Sadler to make his 800th NASCAR National Series start, again coming up this weekend. And so Sadler will become the 25th driver in NASCAR National Series history to make 800 or more starts. It's Elliott again uh, driving the Xfinity Series ride for JR Motorsports and of course, he's right there battling for the points lead right now. So he is a native from Emporia, Virginia. Sadler has made uh, this, of course, the racing for the Xfinity Series in Iowa. He's made 12 Xfinity starts at Iowa, posting three poles, one win, seven top fives, 12 top tens for Elliott Sadler. So this guy's one of the favorites to win the Xfinity race this weekend again in Iowa for that particular racing series and that particular race. So there you go. Uh, Let's see, the halfway point of the Xfinity Series, 10 different winners, which is the most since 2006. Last season to see 10 different winners through the first 13 races, so a lot of parity in that particular series as well. And let's see, who's racing this weekend on the Xfinity Series? Who's going to be out there? Let's see. Trying to scan this and see which cup driver is going to be out there in the field for the Xfinity Series. doesn't look like any of them will be. They're all going to be focusing on Sonoma, California, so... I uh, don't see several familiar drivers will be returning to the series this weekend. Camping World Truck Series champion Christopher Bell will be piloting the number 20 Joe Gibbs racing Toyota. Uh, also, Kyle Benjamin will also be back for Joe Gibbs this weekend. He'll be strapped to the number 18 JGR Toyota. The car that won the race last season with driver Sam Hornish Jr. behind the wheel, so we'll be looking for new winners in both series, both the Cup with Tony Stewart a year ago and with the Xfinity Series with as we said, the departed Sam Hornish Jr. no longer in the series, so they'll look for two new winners this weekend. Bill France Jr.'s grandson, driver Ben Kennedy, who's sharing a limited schedule with GMS Racing and Richard Childers Racing, will be back in the number two this weekend on Saturday in the Xfinity Series. And Tyler Reddick will be back in the Chip Ganassi Racing number 42 Chevrolet this weekend in Iowa as well. That's the Xfinity Series. Then we'll wrap it up with the Camping World Truck Series. Again, you have Chase Briscoe making back-to-back runner-up finishes in the Camping World Truck Series. Finished second at Gateway Motorsports Park, so he'll be in the field coming up this weekend as well. And so, uh, again, it's going to be a great weekend to race in Iowa for the Camping World Truck Series. Again, let's run them down for you. Tomorrow night it'll be the M&M's 200 presented by Casey's General Store, the Truck Series tomorrow night, the NASCAR Camping World Truck Series. Then on Saturday, also at Iowa Speedway, 
the American Ethanol, Ethanol E15-250. Again, Sam Hornish Jr., the defending champ of the race. He's no longer on the circuit, so we'll crown a new champion there. And then on Sunday, the Toyota Saymart 350. Smoke won it last year and won it, I guess it was his final victory. Tony Stewart, again, no longer on the circuit. He's retired, of course. And so the defending champ there on Sunday, we will crown a new champion in the cup race. And, of course, then we start. That will be the halfway point. We start the second half of the season next weekend as we'll crank it back up July 4th weekend uh, down in Daytona. It's hard for me to believe we are at July 4th. Seems like the other day we are talking Valentine's Day. One big birthday of note today. We're going to take a break. Carmichael's waiting in the wings. Talk to us about the NBA draft, among other things. Birthday boy today, Chris Christofferson. I, f- quite frank- frankly, thought he'd passed away, but... Chris Christopherson is 81 today. And our birthday, I mean, our Christmas countdown, if you care, most don't. Christmas countdown at 155 days to Christmas. How about that? Carmichael joins us next for Live at Champion Chevrolet on the Tom Taylor Sports Show. American Import and Auto Repair in Johnson City takes care of both male and female customers, but owner Kim Smith says they have a special care and concern for ladies. Being a female in what's considered a man's business, I understand the trepidation that women may have when they come to the shop. They feel like they don't know about cars, they might be intimidated, but that's not the way we do business. Everybody's treated the same. We take the time to explain anything that they have questions about, the repair, the process, the part. We want to make sure people are comfortable with what we're going to do to their vehicle and that they understand. We do cater to women in a sense. We have a real nice waiting room with nice Keurig coffee and flavored creamers, air conditioned, cushion seats, TV, everything a girl could want while she waits for her car to be fixed. American Import Auto Repair in Johnson City open six days a week. Call today at 913-3111. At Bristol Orthotics and Prosthetics, they treat thousands of patients each year dealing with diabetes and its effects. Diabetes overtaking our nation and leaving a path of destruction behind. Through wound care, office visits, and preventive care, they see most of the patients after a problem arises. Using diabetic footwear, such as shoes and inserts, a great way to prevent or prolong skin breakdown and amputation. At Bristol Orthotics and Prosthetics, they use only custom molds from patient mold inserts, which further ensure a great recovery, or better yet, prevents a wound from happening. They use custom molded shoes, bracing, custom inserts, and extra depth diabetic shoes to prevent wounds or other skin issues from beginning. Call today, 1-800-524-4447. 39 years, six locations, one family. Bristol Orthotics and Prosthetics, 1-800-524-4447. If you're catching some waves or just playing in the yard, it is important to protect yourself. You may not feel the sun's heat, but UV rays can still damage your skin even in cloudy weather. Blue Lizard Sunscreen, recommended by pharmacists and dermatologists nationwide. Our SPF 30 plus formulations use only the highest quality ingredients for broad spectrum protection. As a reminder to protect yourself, our bottle turns blue when UV light is present. Blue Lizard. We've got you covered. From the driveways where your kids play basketball and ride their bicycles to the parking lots at your local church or grocery store, Bracken Paving is an important part of many neighborhoods in our area. No matter how large or how small the job, Bracken strives for excellence in every service they provide. It's a foundation for a strong community. Discover the difference at Bracken Paving and Asphalt Maintenance. Give us a call or visit us online at brackenpaving.com. Back on the Tom Taylor Sports Show, you know, when you reach a point with this guy, the, the, the lofty stature that he is, you just put down Carmichael. It's like Elvis Bono. It's, it's like Rush. It's like Bono. It's like a one-name kind of guy. LeBron. LeBron. Now it's Carmichael. It's, <laughs> I, I typed in and I thought, you know, 
He's just Carmichael is what we call him, and he does a wonderful job. He's with us from the Johnson City Parks and Rec. Again, Appalachian League Baseball in jeopardy. I know as we earlier our earlier guest, Joe Schmeling, from the uh, uh, the Super Cup Stock Car Series. Tomorrow night's racing at Kingsport Speedway has already been washed out because of the remnants of Tropical Storm Cindy. We'll go down to Appalachian League Baseball in a moment, but I would think most of these, if I can just do it real quick right now, we'll get Carmichael rolling, but... Tonight, you've got Johnson City opening up, hosting Bristol. Greenville, the Astros home to Bluefield. The Elizabethan Twins home to Danville tonight. Kingsport traveling to Burlington and Princeton at Pulaski. So I would think well, at least what, the ones here in the Tri-Cities may be in trouble. What helps at Johnson City, at least this year, is now we've got carpet on the yeah. infield. Yeah. So, you know, unless it's a really downpour, uh, kind of like park and recreation. Right now, I've not canceled softball games for tonight. I mean, but... It's getting close, close to it, <laughs> and we also we we're supposed to have Asylum Suite tonight at Winder at the Lakefront, uh, rock band who has opened up for people like Quiet Right, Cheap Trick, Fog Hat, Blue Oyster Cult, and Great White groups like that. And this was a big concert for us, but it's in jeopardy now. So you know, the possibility if we don't if we get rained out with the concert tonight, maybe we can reschedule these guys coming back later in the summer or early in the fall. Yeah, you want to try and get those guys back. Of course, any of them. you also coming up. you got Beach Night Band. you got the Model City uh, Wrecking Crew. Crew. Jerry, Jerry Pierce, Pierce who has life. been around longer than Ch- I think he taught Chuck <laughs> Berry how to play. I think he taught Chuck Berry some notes how to, how to sing. That's how long. I think, I think, Jer- I, I think uh, Jerry might have toured with uh, uh, uh Oh God, Glenn Miller and his <laughs> band of renown Tom, back in the Tommy Dorsey and the boys. Yeah, back in the thirties and forties. But there Jerry's been around. Great guy, great performer. Always seen Jerry in the places around the Tri Cities for years. And then the John C. Symphony, which is a big uh, concert for the Park and Recreation. If you've ever, that's a great show to go mm-hmm. when the symphony does goes out to the amphitheater. Great night of music, and especially out under the stars in the fall like that. We're live here at Champion Chevrolet. Cletus Green's coming up in a few minutes. Again, he is the uh, the uh, manager here, sales manager at Champion Chevrolet. Andy's away on assignment. Kristen Martin did it earlier and hit a grand slam. In fact, she's got some – she's selling one. There you go. That Kristen Martin, she's a selling machine. She is, she is. We'll have Cletus on coming up here in just a few minutes. And, again, tomorrow we're going to be at our first time ever. Can't wait. We're going to be at Blue Lizard Australian Sunscreen, the plant down in South Johnson City. Uh, Crown Laboratories, one of the top ten fastest-growing small businesses in America, and we'll be there uh, tomorrow with uh, Jeff Bedard and the great folks at Blue Lizard, our first stop ever. Can't wait to be at Blue Lizard Australian Sunscreen. Use it all the time, and it works, I'm telling you, especially the sport one where you can put it on and stays uh, and get in the water and stays on you. You don't have to reapply for up to 80 minutes, so it's a uh, great product. We'll be there tomorrow at Blue Lizard. Carmichael, NBA draft tonight. You're kind of like my NBA. No, not kind of. You are my NBA expert. What do you see tonight in the NBA draft? There's lots of movement already before the draft even hits. So what are you anticipating? I anticipate moves tonight. The big one that has been uh, I was hearing a little bit about this morning, the possibility of uh, when Boston made the trade with Philadelphia to swap one and three, it was thought that Josh Jackson was going to the Celtics. Well, now... Uh, as Lee Corso says, uh, you know, not so fast, my not friend. Not so fast. Uh, Josh Jackson did not work out for the Celtics. Now, that doesn't mean that they wouldn't still draft him. Steph Curry didn't work out for Golden State when he was drafted. He was hoping to go to New York, so he didn't want to work out for the Warriors. But it didn't matter. They drafted him, and look what's happened to them. But Josh Jackson did not work out. So there's talk that he might slide down to four in Phoenix. Mm. Now, if that happens... Josh Jackson is represented by B.J. Armstrong, point guard of the Chicago Bulls, oh, yeah. during the six championships that Phil Jackson played. Mm-hmm. Remember Armstrong, sure. B.J. Armstrong is trying to manu- make a maneuver for, to f- get Josh Jackson to New York. Hmm. Phil Jackson's not happy with Kristen Porzingis. I saw that. So there could be a trade in the works where Phoenix, if they take Josh Jackson, packages Jackson – Maybe Eric Bledsoe, maybe another player to New York for Porzingis and maybe one or two of New York's bad contracts, which could be Joe Kim Noah or uh, Courtney Lee or Lance Thomas, and they make that kind of deal tonight. For some reason, Phil has a burn in his saddle about Porzingis. I mean, he's just 7'3". He runs the floor like a gazelle. He can shoot threes. I mean, he's he's a freak. He's 
and but for some reason he just doesn't rub Phil the right way. Hmm. So maybe they take a look at Jackson. Jackson's a very competitive player. The only downsides on Jackson are he wasn't a great outside shooter, was a horrible free throw shooter in college, 55%. If you shoot that in the NBA, they can't keep you in the game at the end of games because they know you're going to foul you and put you on the line. Absolutely. Hack a shack. So that is the one interesting one thing that could happen, you know, toward in the draft, one big thing. The Lakers picking up that extra pick at 27. Do they try to package 27 and 28, maybe a player, and try to either move up in the draft or maybe try to pick the, package those players for a veteran player? or move back. I wouldn't suspect they really want to keep both 27 and 28. They might try to move back into the early second round. If a, if a team that's drafting, say, 31, 32, sees a player they want, kind of like the NFL draft, we see a guy at 27 that we can draft there. Maybe you move up and future considerations there. So I expect it to be a very busy night. It usually is during the NBA Tra- uh, draft. Tony Carmichael. Now, I saw this morning where the Cavaliers told Jimmy Butler, the guy from the Bulls, they were trying to court him. They said, stay away from the team. You don't want to come to Cleveland, which I thought was interesting. They, Of course, since we were here last week, they've dumped David Griffin, the general manager. LeBron didn't know anything about it, so he's not happy. Uh, Kyrie Irving. Well, and, LeBron publicly didn't say he well, knew anything about it. Yeah, but you you got to know probably behind right. the scenes. Somebody tipped Somebody. him off saying this guy's gone. But So why would they tell Jimmy Butler to stay away from the Cavaliers? Well, or is that just... I think it's because, and we talked about it last week, it brought up about Paul George for Kevin Love, and that's I still think that trade could happen tonight. I think that's the trade that makes most sense for Cleveland because, let's put it this way, Cleveland's it's a one-year thing. It's LeBron's out. I think he's out of there at the end of next year. I think he's going to Los Angeles. The Lakers and Clippers are both trying to clear cap room to be able to make a move where they can take two max contracts like LeBron and Paul George. And I think that's where you're seeing it. I think the Jimmy Butler thing was more smokescreen. I think it's Paul George's they're after, and you could see that happen tonight. Kevin Love for Paul George. Saw where Dwight Howard got traded from the Hawks to the Charlotte Hornets, and so is that a good move for the Hornets, and is that a good move for the Hawks? It's a good move for the Hawks. You got rid of a guy that you'd only played in 72 fourth quarter minutes. I read this yesterday. 72 fourth quarter minutes in the playoffs. He played 12. Ooh. You bring a guy in, pay him big money, and he was just not the right fit for that team. That team is more of a space and shoot team. He's going to Charlotte. He played for Steve Clifford. Clifford was an assistant in Orlando. They run that high pick and roll with Kimball Walker. I think it's the best movie. Should have probably went there last year. And then he can also, he runs that high pick and roll. He also post up. They didn't have really a post presence last year after Al Jefferson left and went to Indiana. So I think it's a good move for Dwight to go to Charlotte. We're talking to Carmichael. So the obvious question for me on a personal note, what are the Spurs going to do? What are they looking for? What do they need? And what do you think they'll do with this draft that starts again tonight? They'll look at a – I think they'll, they're will they always a draft smart. If there's an international player, they, they love international players. Mm-hmm. They're one of the teams that really do. An international player or a prospect that somebody just goes to sleep on. And I'll tell you a name, and he may he'll probably be in that – he'll either be late first round or second round. A guy that I saw play this year, and I know him partial, but I saw him play. He should have probably stayed another year in college, but he's got the size. He's got the athleticism. T.J. Leaf from UCLA, big power forward, power forward, 6'11". Space, could shoot the ball from the outside. A kind of player that, to me, would be a Spurs a Spurs type player. Now, we had talked about Spurs. You know, they were clearing, the, trying to clear the deck for Chris Paul. There's also, Chris Paul's also looking at Houston as well. And Houston's trying to make some moves to clear out some contract space to where they can afford. Now, could you imagine Chris Paul and James Harden? You know, there's not enough basketballs. No. That's another one of those. There's not enough basketballs in the, in the gym for those two. But still, that's a deal that it looks like Chris Paul is leaning toward going to Texas somewhere this year. Before we switch gears and get into some pro football, give me the top three or four guys you feel like will go tonight. Uh, there's some great talent out there. A lot of guys, underclassmen, have uh, said they're going to go pro. Uh, so there's some talent in the in the pool for sure. Give me two or three guys you feel like will go go high in the draft. Fultz is going to be number one. And that's and the co- only question about him, he's got the talent. He's a very talented player. But the only thing you worry about him is they won nine games at Washington. 
you know, if you're the number one player in the draft and you're this kind of franchise-type player, shouldn't you win more than nine games in the Pac-12 conference? That's I mean it's been, it's the same thing with Ben Simmons was Ben Simmons last year LSU didn't even make the postseason last year it's like can you draft him number one that's supposed to be a franchise player uh, Ball will be number two that's I mean they'll put up with his daddy and the <laughs> Lakers will and, and the Lakers see him as a player uh, he's a Jason kid he's a Jason kid type player he's got great court awareness passes the ball well he's got that funky shot that, like Jamal Wilkes had when he played UCLA and the Lakers I mean similar type shot but they think of him as a future all-star down the road and a Jason Kidd type player uh, Josh Jackson from Kansas you look at the two kids from Kentucky mm-hmm. the guards there there's should be highly picked uh, it's going to be an interesting uh, De- uh, Dennis Smith from North Carolina State was another guy should be probably a top seven or eight pick. So it's going to be an interesting time. It'll be a fun, fun night tonight watching the draft. From the basketball standpoint, AJ Merriweather, young young man from East Tennessee State, got drafted with the Globe Trotters. Does he go? Does he take that offer? You know, I, you see what I would see if I'm him. I would see what I could if a D or a, a now. I'm sorry, I was getting ready to call it a D League team, but now I've been told it's going to be a G League team because Gatorade is now sponsoring. That's it the D League. I would say if I get on with a G League team and if I couldn't, you know, maybe Europe. I mean those they also drafted Tim Tebow, I believe. They didn't did. they? Besides AJ. And the Wonder Woman. And the Wonder Woman. They drafted the uh, well, surpro- you know why didn't they draft, you know, like uh Jimmy Johnson or Mike Trout or <laughs> or uh Albert Pujols. Yeah anybody somebody like that. Yeah. yeah. You got it. So but I, I look at him, and they've had, you know, a couple of Buck players did play, have played with the Globe Cars in the past. But I, I think that's more of a, if I really wanted to pursue my basketball career and thought I might make it to the next level, I'd look at the G League, and if I didn't, then I'd look at, I'd look at a place like Spain or France to get some exposure, because the NBA scouts scout the world over now, and it's, it's a global game. It is a global game. We're talking to Carmichael again. We're live here at Champion Chevrolet. Cletus is going to join us coming up for, for, before the show's done. Kevin Harmon joins us coming up in a few minutes with the latest on Tennessee football and Tennessee sports, our weekly UT sports update here on the Tom Taylor Sports Show, live from Champion Chevrolet, show number 544. Well, we switched from pro basketball to the best team in pro football, the greatest football team ever, the Raiders. My boys, Cowboys. Derek Carr. Uh-oh. September the 10th, they open things up in Nashville against the Titans. I'll be there. I'm going this year. I say every year I'm going, and this year I'm going. I'm going to watch my boys whip up on the Titans. And so uh, they just made a guy the highest paid player in the league, maybe as a quarterback, maybe as in the whole league. What's the story? In the history of the, in the, in history the history of the game. game. Derek yeah. Carr has become the highest paid player in the history of the game. And it's, you know, Unbelievable. it's the price of doing business these days. But you know, you wonder if you spend so much money on him as a franchise quarterback, mm-hmm. then you got to pay Khalil Mack. We mm-hmm. were talking about before. Mm-hmm. Then we're, you know, now how much have you got left on the cap? And that's going to be the interesting thing. And if, God forbid, something happened to one of those players, mm-hmm. and maybe their performance declines, then that contract becomes an albatross to try to get rid of. And now you ham, you know, you hamper your teams. A ability to make moves in the free agent market, mm-hmm. in the ability to keep key young players. So, but evidently they know what they're. I mean, you got a Tennessee guy running the the program out there and uh, McKenzie. Mm-hmm. So, to 20, see what what happens. Twenty five million dollars a year, Derek Carr signed with the Oakland Raiders today. Twenty five million dollars. He can a year. play a few slots when he goes to Vegas <laughs> for, with that with that kind of change. But you know, you made a great point as far as the Raiders. They still got to re-sign Mac, the great defensive player. They got Amari Cooper out there now. That says he wants a long-term contract too. So, and the other thing too, Carmichael, all these other guys in the National Football League that are on these ego kicks, going, whoa, whoa, whoa. Carr got twenty-five. What are you going to pay me? So all this does, I think, is just push everything. On up the on up the ladder, what but you, you know it does with a certain extent. Football is less than basketball. If this was a basketball, oh yeah, but in basketball they are all about. But you look at somebody like Tom Brady. Tom Brady takes less money to stay with New England because he's in a winning si- year after year after year because he's in a winning situation. I mean, some of these guys know if I'm on a good team, you know, maybe I take less money. It's it's kind of like the Warriors. You know, that's why Durant's taking less money 
this year because they've got to re-sign some other players. And that's what you have to think about. You do have to look out for yourself as a player, but you also have to think, you know, if I want to be in a winning situation, i got to make sure we got enough pieces around me for us to win. Also, they look at this, too. Derek Carr is saying in his quotes, you know, we're leaving Vegas, or leaving California to go to Vegas. California's tax rate, 13.3% on those earn more than a million dollars a year. And Nevada does not have a state income tax. This is in addition to the federal income tax, which imposes a 40% tax rate for single taxpayers with a taxable income of more than $413,000. So uh, he could backload his impending new deal and save millions of dollars. He wouldn't be the only Raider player to benefit. So there is some benefits uh, from going from California to Vegas for these players and and, uh, the money they make. And it also, and that's, you know, some states try, some professional franchises, there are states that don't have that state income tax. Tennessee's one that doesn't have it uh i believe texas is one i know florida is one it's like those are a lot of times destination places for team for players to go because they don't have to pay they can make the big dollars and not have to pay the state income tax we're talking to carmichael we're live at champion chevrolet cletus will join us coming up here in a few minutes we had Kristen on earlier again championjc.com young lady with internet sales and do a phenomenal job and they've sold a couple of trucks here today in the rain it's peppering down the rain here at champion chevrolet we're looking for rain telling us all the way through midday Saturday before it clears out. This is the remnants of tro- Tropical Storm Cindy. So, rain's here, but that's not going to stop them from selling cars, and we'll run down some of these deals in a minute. You'll see why. Plus, they're giving away a brand new 2017 Sony coming up a week after next for the July 4th, again, at Freedom Hall. A 2017 Sonic LS over $17,000 value. Champion Chevrolet is going to give it away, and somebody gets a chance to win it. And it's a really cool way they're going to do it. They're going to get 15 qualifiers, 15 finalists, and, and you go through pepsi-fireworks.com. They're going to put 15 finalists up on the stage at Freedom Hall in the big outdoor concert. Everybody gets a Pepsi can, all right? One of the 15 cans will have, instead of Pepsi, will have Sierra Mist. So you have got 15 folks up here to qualify for this. Pop the can, pour it in the cup, Pepsi. Pop, pop the next one, Pepsi. Pop the next one. Sierra missed. They win the car. That's going to be pretty cool. Yeah, at so. least it's better than having to throw them off the stage. See, the <laughs> last one last one on the stage wins. The, that could have you know, last, could have one the, stand. last one standing. Last one standing. Last one on the stage wins the, wins the car. <laughs> yeah, they're going to do it with Pepsi and Sierra Mist. It's going to be yeah, really cool. That's... And, uh, again, just go to pepsi-fireworks.com. Find out more. Of course, they're also tied in with Food City and Champion. Cletus will tell us about that coming up here. In a few minutes. And, and you know, if they really wanted to tie it in also with sponsors, they could have done something where everybody uh, based themselves in Blue Lizard, mm-hmm. and then they could have had a, like a Blue Lizard wrestling contest, <laughs> and the person who last th- thing, last one standing on the stage wins. There you go. Blue Lizard and throw them in a sand pit and right. sand, sandbox right. and them roll yeah, around. Yeah. There so, you go. Yeah. We're talking to Carmichael. Let's see. Let's jump uh, switch gears again. Let's talk a little baseball. Again, uh, you got some teams out there floundering. I re- had the story earlier. The San Francisco Giants was the best team last year at the All-Star break. Since then, they are the worst team in Major League Baseball from last All-Star break to this one. How Bruce Boshi keeps his job, I don't know, but they're, they are struggling three baseball world, program. Three World Series and the knowledge that, especially this year, they've not had Madison Baumgartner since we, mm-hmm. you know, since the beginning. And, I mean, that's you can say, well, what's a starting pitcher? Well, that's just been a whole big, you know, he is the, he is the man in San Francisco. And I think that that's been such a major injury to them and, and decimated their team. Uh, they've they've still had some, you know, excellent players. Buster Posey's having a good year, Brandon Belt. But they've struggled. They've struggled in the outfield hitting, and they've struggled with they've struggled in pitching all year long. Giants are 57-89 and 89 since the All-Star break last year. Yeah, I know. They're going to get it done. No, and I'd say this is, you know, they're hoping to get Baumgartner back sometime after the break. But, you know, you wonder how much, if it's going to be later, how much do you really want to bring him back in a lost season like this season? Maybe you bring him back to just let him pitch to see how well he can do and get him ready for 2018. Yankees in a seven-game skid last night. Matt Holiday homers and doubles for the Bronx Bombers at age 37. Already has 15 home runs. Of course, coming over from the Cardinals to New York. So, Yankees uh, trying to get out of a tailspin. Uh, they're in first place with the Red Sox losing after giving up a grand salami to Salvador Perez and the Royals. Red Sox lose six to four. The Yankees temporarily back in first place. And uh, we had the numbers yesterday. Uh, Judge is on his own pace to be the 
Uh, Yankees has the most home runs as a rookie. Uh, the record is 39 by a guy by the name of Joe DiMaggio. I think Judge is in the low 20s already, so I think 22. He's got a legitimate shot to do that. Yeah, he's in the, he's in the 20s. Has a good has a great chance at doing that this year. I mean, but I still I think now you've seen in baseball. Two best teams in baseball right now are the Houston Astros and the Los Angeles Dodgers. Mm-hmm. I, I think they're on a – it looks like they're on a collision course to meet each other in the World Series. Kershaw picks up the 10th win, first 10-game winner of the season. He's 10-2 and two for the Dodgers. Tigers have lost five straight. They've got the man on the mound tonight. Daniel Norris pitches in Seattle. Dino's on the hill at 4-4. Four and four and, you know, That's think- not a good – and who that's a tough tough place to pitch for mm-hmm. – I mean, it's, a, it's more of a – has been a pitcher's park it's become a little bit more of a hitter's park but seattle can load up the right handers they're a deadly team especially nelson cruz against left handers orioles giving up another five run game the american league record is 18 consecutive games they've given up at least five runs in a game the major league record is 20 so they've already tied them or they've already set the american league record so here's a baseball team with buck showalter had a lot of promise beginning of the season they are to say the least they're floundering in ball pitching ball. The, they've had the they've had with chris tillman out almost all year they came back he's come back here recently but he's been a shell of himself uh they've had problems out of the bullpen this is a team that struggled and they they're trying to outscore you that's a team that's just trying to with their offense and they can they can score a lot of runs but their pitching is just horrible Cardinals, 8-12 and 12 the month of June. Five of those wins have come against a team that's the worst team in uh, the second worst team in baseball, which would be the Philadelphia Phillies. So the last two wins coming in extra innings. So they're not setting the woods on fire, but they're playing, I guess, better baseball than they have been. They went with Michael Walker last night. He got lit up. Uh, again, Walker with an ERA of 8.86 right now in his last five starts. So Cardinals shed, are not the no same tears part of for them. I <laughs> shed no tears. I shed no tears for that organization and that ball club as a oh, Cincinnati as a fan. fan. Yeah. Uh, yeah, you know, I could care. That's careless. Un- yeah. Exactly. No tears. Move no. on. There you go. Love this guy. All right, here's your uh, schedule day games. Uh, White Sox in Minnesota, Toronto at Texas, and Houston at Oakland. In the American League tonight, Cleveland and Baltimore, the Angels in New York, and again, Daniel Norris in Detroit and Seattle for a 10-10 first pitch. We'll let you know tomorrow at Blue Lizard where we are, how he did uh, today or tonight. Cardinals in Philadelphia, the series wrap-up in Philadelphia today. Pittsburgh and Milwaukee. Also, you got Arizona, Colorado. Those are all day games tonight. Cubs in Miami. San Francisco, Jaime Garcia on the mound against the pitiful San Francisco Giants in Atlanta. And the Mets are getting lit up like a Christmas tree. Out in L.A. against the Dodgers. Again, Woods 7-0 on the mound for L.A. tonight. Dodgers, again, uh, they're a half game behind Colorado in the West with uh, <clears throat> excuse me, the best team in baseball, as Carmichael said, is still the Houston Astros at 48-24, and and they've run away with the division right now. They're a 12-game lead over the Texas Rangers, and so that's your Major League Baseball. Uh, let's see. We've covered NBA. We've covered baseball. We've covered uh, anything else you want to uh, we had, had the NHL awards last night in the expansion draft. The Predators lost James Neal to the Las Vegas Golden Knights. No surprise, I mean, to most observers of the Predators in the NHL. Neal scored over 20 goals this past season for the Predators, but he was 29 years old, making $5.2 million on left on his deal, which expires at the end of next year. And Nashville has a lot of young forwards that they can play and plug in the lineup. Plus, they were... They've got a couple of restricted free agents in Victor Arvison and uh, Ryan Johansson, their center, that they're going to have to pay. So that $5.2 million goes to try to help pay those young guys. So it wasn't a bad move. The big name for the Pink, or for the Golden Knights was uh, Marc-Andre Fleury, who has won three Stanley Cups with Pittsburgh Penguins as goalie. That was, that's kind of like who's going to be their franchise player, the player that they try to build around. Uh, they made a bunch of deals last night and this morning to pick up draft picks so that with the with the draft going on expansion draft going on last night also the award ceremony Connor mcdavid winning the national hockey league's most valuable player the Hart trophy uh david pole from the national predators general manager of the year awesome so he has a plethora of information folks there are no notes it's all off the top of his head he's awesome carmichael's so before you take off what's going on the john city parks and rec starting next week we have the uh what we call the star camp going on at memorial uh, park community center it's from ages 6 to 12 it's 40 dollars for the fee for the camp from 9 to 12 each day 
Uh, it's going to be a day of science. Every day it's going to be science. It's going to talk, feature geology, astronomy, a uh, day of technology with our new iPlay floor game, uh, other tech fun, arts and crafts, and some recreation activities. And you also get to do some swimming while you're there. there you so go. for $40, you can for that, you can call go call 434-5749 or go always to www.myjcparks.org. There you go. And register. And the uh, day at the park, Saturday in the park. Bum, 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 bum. Saturday the, in the park. Trying to do the Chicago. I'm not doing a good job with the music in it. The lead in to the uh, the intro to the song Saturday in the Park. Yes. It's going to be happening when? July, Saturday, July 15th uh, at 530 at the Memorial Park Community Center. That's when some of the, that's when the biggest part of the festivities will start. Earlier in the day, I know we are in athletics. We're going to have a little basketball competition down there. We're going to do uh, three, a three-point shooting contest, free throw shooting contest, and a hot shot shoot hot shot competition that was the old hot shot game mm-hmm. back in the day where you shoot from spots on the floor mm-hmm. to make points we're going in that in those competitions we're going to do a 10 and under a 16 and under and an open division so we'll have it for small kids medium to bigger size kids and adults if they want to come but we're going to be doing games that night concessions and have a movie uh, at nine o'clock at the Memorial Park Community Center. Hope to know in the next week or next week sometime about what movie we're gonna do that night. There you go. Still working on that. MyJCParks.org. My man Carmichael. So may tap you tomorrow. You're gonna be around. I may tap you and get your comments on the NBA draft. Or would be better to wait yes. till Monday. Uh, tomorrow or Monday. I'll be. I should be around. So they'll be drafting tonight. So, but there'll still be some action activity over the weekend too, won't there? Yes, they will be the draft tonight. The draft is tonight. They do both rounds tonight. Mm-hmm. Uh, their free agency doesn't start until I think it's it's either July one or July eight. The NHL draft is tomorrow is tomorrow as well. There will be a bunch of trades probably today and tomorrow. Not really any. This is a slow draft for the NHL. No big stars like last year with uh, Austin Matthews going to Toronto and becoming the rookie of the year this year. Uh, it's not a it's not a big draft, not a very deep draft. So teams really are trying to get have been trying to get rid of their picks. Um, so it's it goes on tomorrow and Saturday. But the NBA draft is tonight only. They've cut it down from seven rounds down to two. Let's do it tomorrow. Let's get you on a cameo. Let you assess as only he can do for a few minutes on the phone tomorrow. I you should do that? be right. Yes, sir. We'll make it happen because this guy's good. He is a he is a definite asset to this show. Give me some taters. Yes, sir. Plus, he's a great friend. We'll take a quick break. We'll be right back. Kevin's in here. Talk a little UT sports next on the Tom Taylor Sports Show live at Champion Chevrolet. At FCA, we're touching millions one heart at a time. Since 1954, the Fellowship of Christian Athletes has been putting the heart and soul in sports by challenging athletes and coaches to impact the world for Jesus Christ. As the largest sports ministry in the world, FCA now reaches over 2 million people annually on the professional, college, high school, junior high, and youth levels. Through this shared passion for athletics and faith, lives are changed one heart at a time. Learn more at fca.org. American Import and Auto Repair in Johnson City takes care of both male and female customers, but owner Kim Smith says they have a special care and concern for ladies. Being a female in what's considered a man's business, I understand the trepidation that women may have when they come to the shop. They feel like they don't know about cars, they might be intimidated, but that's not the way we do business. Everybody's treated the same. We take the time to explain anything that they have questions about, the repair, the process, the part. We want to make sure people are comfortable with what we're going to do to their vehicle and that they understand. We do cater to women in a sense. We have a real nice waiting room with nice Keurig coffee and flavored creamers, air-conditioned cushion seats, TV, everything a girl could want while she waits for her car to be fixed. American Import and Auto Repair in Johnson City open six days a week. Call today at 913-3111. It's Friday night at 7 o'clock. You've been involved in a car accident. You may be out of state on vacation or just a few miles from home. What do you do? Who do you call? At Farmers Insurance Group, one call is all you have to make. Hello, this is Jim Klein, an agent with Farmers Insurance. It's called One and Done. You don't have to wait till Monday morning to file a claim. You can make the initial call and we'll begin right away to help. You always use the file folders. He's yeah. country. There he is, my man Kevin Harmon. Good morning, sir. How you doing? Doing well. I found a box of a hundred folders. So I got to do something <laughs> with them. 
Oh, He's yeah. here every Thursday. This guy is, again, like Carmichael. Here's the thing about my show. It's 544 days I've done the show. And people said it wouldn't work, and it is working. It's growing. we got a big announcement coming up about some more growth coming up very, very soon on this show. But i got to tell you, these guys right here, the Carmichaels and the Dave Angies and the Greg Salyers, and in this case, the Kevin Harmons, I am blessed to have these guys as contributors to the show. I just kind of set them up and let them go. And so, uh, he I is. took a picture this morning on the way over here, coming down the street. <laughs> but, <laughs> that's why. <laughs> here, did they see that? There it is. That's what I saw on the way to work. Noah, today. Noah built the ark. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Tropical Storm Cindy is playing havoc. Again, Appalachian League Baseball is probably in jeopardy tonight, I would think. Although, uh, Cardinal Park has the uh, artificial service infield, but the outfield is still natural grass, and there's been a lot of rain and more rain coming. So we'll run down that schedule for you again for all the Appy teams coming up here in just a minute. But Kevin gives a lot to the show, and we're so blessed to have him come on, and I mean that. Orange Carpet Weekend, again, recruiting Tennessee football. It's, uh, you know, it used to be, certain time periods but now recruiting is almost a year-round endeavor and so the orange carpet weekend tell me about that again with tennessee football this past weekend well orange carpet weekend is um, you know it's tennessee's big event it's you know alabama does it georgia does it uh, all the schools have one big event where they really roll out the red carpet they invite all the kids they have a camp they do different things last year tennessee got eight commitments from the orange carpet weekend which was a lot three of them decommitted uh, so I think they tried to taper that back because it was very early in the process uh, to get those kids. So they got one commitment, and that was the kid from uh, Tanner Engel from uh, Florida, state of Florida. Corner. Yeah, and he had offers right. from Stanford, Virginia Tech, Boston College, Mississippi State, Wisconsin. And you know he's smart because he got offered by Harvard, Yale, and Dartmouth. Mm -hmm. uh, big offer list. He's just a three-star, but with an offer list like he had, you know, he should move up in the rankings. I think you know, it's a good get for Tennessee. He really loves the school. So, you know, but he, they really solidified with Greg Emerson, who's the number one player in the state and one of the top 20 players in the country. So I believe that Tennessee really did themselves well and had a great weekend and were able to, And I'm glad it wasn't this weekend. It would be more like a wet orange carpet. Mm -hmm. Oh, it was not this weekend? No, it was last weekend. It was last weekend. Yeah. I'm sorry. Okay. So That's why we bring him in because I don't know. So there you go. It was so last it was weekend. A, yeah, it was. It was last weekend. We didn't really talk about it much last weekend. You never really know. That really solidify that thing until Friday morning, Friday night, on exactly who's coming because you just never know with these kids uh, how they'll get there and things like that. A lot of them have to come on their own dime. Now, didn't you go to the Wings Festival? Was that last weekend, too? I did. I and did. How did that go for you? It was down in Knoxville, wasn't it? I did. Yes, I did. And um, uh, you remember uh, Cool Hand Luke? Yeah. You know, I can eat 60 eggs. Yeah. He couldn't eat 60 wings. <laughs> I can assure you of that. <laughs> there you go. So. They had 30 booths set uh -huh. up, and Hokey Smokey was there from mm -hmm. this area. But it was mainly Knoxville. There were some Kentucky guys there. And you got to try wings, and you got a ticket. Your fifteen dollars gets you in. You got a ticket for thirty wings, and you can't eat thirty wings. You think thirty wings isn't much? It is. It's a lot. I ate twenty. That's all you got. That's all. Davis ate eight, eighteen. I think Megan ate twelve. Um, but it was a great day because they had music and they had a wing eating contest, and then they had bobbing for wings. They put this little, you know, small little kiddie pool. They filled it with ranch dressing and put wings in it. And you had to dip, you had to bob for, for wings. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Yeah. Bobbing for wings. Bobbing for wings. Um, my favorite wing was from, it was called Goat Island or something. It was a little barbecue joint. And it was a honey strawberry sariachi flavor hmm. wing. And it didn't win. But that's who I voted for, and that's who I enjoyed the most. But there were a lot of good wings around. Buddy's Barbecue was there. They had a good wing. UT, uh, UT Catering, you know, they mm -hmm. cater football games mm -hmm. and, and uh, tailgating parties. Uh, they actually were the, repeat, the defending champs, and they had an excellent wing. Uh, so it was a lot of fun. You know, you really got into it. The lines went fast because, you know, you could get two to three wings. Five was the max. Thirty was your limit, and then you had to pay a dollar for two of them. But I don't know. I didn't see anybody that got to 30 because it was hot. Uh, God, the place was so crowded. It was a great event. And right across the street on the other side of World's Fair Park was a bark contest, a dog. 
then they had dogs going through different routines and a little deal on how to take care of your dogs and stuff and heat and things like that. There you it go. was pretty cool. You know, they got a new ice cream shop downtown. Downtown Knoxville's really come a long way from when I was in school. Um, it was a great, it was a great time. We're talking to Kevin Harmon because he was there, of course, and uh, since we visited last week, Tennessee has hired Philip Fulmer. I think this is an olive branch that extended to Coach Fulmer, and he accepted, and he is now going to be working with the the new athletic director. Tell me about that. Actually, he's working with the chancellor. He, I Ch- think he need a, he's a consultant both. to the chancellor, and <laughs> it's, it's come to my forefront that John Curry actually pushed the chancellor to make this hire, and he's being funded by – outside sources so i'm not sure what all that means i guess it won't come out of the the public funding uh that they're hiring coach Palmer. So, and i'm not really sure what he's going to do and it might be an olive branch that they're trying to extend to him since he didn't get the uh athletic director's job but i think curry's doing a great job i'm not sure former could do any better than what he's doing and uh you know i hadn't heard much on butch but you know they're giving I'm, i have no idea what they're paying former coach former but uh, hundred thousand is it a hundred thousand? Hundred thousand plus twenty five hundred dollars a month uh, allowance over and above what the university does in covering expenses. Yeah, so, that's not a bad gig. No, hundred thousand uh-huh. for a part time job. Yeah, they didn't. I didn't hear about it. I had applied. Yeah, but uh, me and you both. Yeah, we could, we could have split it for that. Yeah, matter. That's right. I'd be a great <laughs> consultant at UT. Two head, two headed monster. Yeah, there you, go. you know they, you know they're starting to do a lot of work down there. I noticed that they're cleaning the. Uh, they're they're starting to paint the uh, service side of Neyland Stadium, and it needs it. Where I have my tickets, there, that side needs a lot of work. What's the latest? I know they were getting ready to do a study last year. They did a study about how to improve and got some uh, fan input on how to improve Neyland Stadium going forward with some renovations. Heard any more about that? Well, they've actually come out with a, a sort of a composite type drawing of what they want to do, and it's you know expand the concourses. You know, if you're on the alumni side, the concourses are wide. You've got the vol shops. You got uh, food courts, things like that, you know, and on the visitor side and the student side and where I sit, you know, we're, it's, it's still the same old tight corridors that was there probably when General Neyland was there. Um, and there's a lot of exposed rust and things like that. It's still a solid structure. I mean, I never feel like we're going to fall or anything like that, but it needs to be spruced up. It needs to be spruced up with what they have on the other <clears> side. And what really kills me is that when they run out of water at games, they shouldn't run out of water or ice. <laughs> I don't care who you are, you don't run out of water and ice. No. You, so they need more spaces, I guess, to store that kind of stuff, or need a better logistics. You know, if you run out of, if you don't run out of water, it's not like water goes bad next week. Right. So you should never run out of water, especially in these hot games. Stock it up. Because you know they haul these people out during these games where people are just laying down. The Florida game last year. I didn't think we had a chance to come back from a 21-3 halftime deficit because all the fans were laying in the in the uh, under the in the, in the back of the stadium in the walkways. People were just laying down. You couldn't even walk down the walkway. <laughs> you wanted to go downstairs for bodies laying around. You know, it's like a mass unit. <laughs> it was, and that's because they were out of water and ice at halftime. So Talk up. Start just talking a, up now. It's a pet peeve of mine. Food city. Know. The Georgia game we went to last year in Georgia at Athens, they ran out of water at halftime. You know, we're taking our shirts off, running them into the, going in the bathroom and running under the sink, putting the shirt back on, and then you try to soak the water up out of your sleeve or something just to be able to, you know, it's kind of like lost or like survivor out, out or something. Out of the desert. Yeah. All right. So anyway, we get there's a, if you're listening to us, Knox will get more water in the stands or in the concession stands. Please do. Please do. We're talking to Kevin Arm, talking UT Sports, uh, the Big Orange Caravan coming to the Tri-Cities next month. Tell me about that. Yeah, I don't know if that's everybody knows about it, but, you know, the Big Orange Caravan, we actually we, – we used to host the Titan <clears throat> Caravan at the mall, mm-hmm. and now the Big Orange Caravan, it makes it around. They, I think they cut out the Tri-Cities last year, but this year they're coming to Kingsport, July the 11th, 5 to 7 p.m., and it's going to be at the Farmer's Market, which is downtown, across from Dom Tar, right there next to that new Food City downtown. Mm-hmm. And I know Coach Curry will be there, John Curry. I know Butch Jones will be there, probably Rick Barnes, um, probably the new baseball coach, possibly, Holly Worley. I'm not sure, but I know Curry will be there, and I know Barnes will be there. Oh, Butch Jones will be Butch there. Butch Jones will be there because yeah. that's been released. So, you know, if Tennessee fans, you come out and you hear and you get to talk to the coaches, it's a pretty cool day, you know. Mm-hmm. And uh, – I've been to a couple of them. They're a lot of fun. And, you know, so I'm not sure there's a cost. I don't think there is a cost. No. So I'm sure they'll have like a, 
you know, wet bar or something like that. And you can buy Cokes and drinks, whatever you want. But, um, so, anyway, let me get my phone here. I'm sorry about that. We're talking to our buddy Kevin Armin again. We're here at Champion Chevrolet. Cletus joins us coming up in a few minutes. Basketball, the Rocky Top League going on. What's that all about? Well, Tennessee every year has a league that they, all their players, and then some local players, the past players and some local high school players, um, they fight up teams and they play basketball. And it's sort of a way to stay in shape and sort of sharpen their skills. They don't play a lot of defense. Um, but that that's league is going on right now. You sort of get a – it's really good to look at some of the incoming players, and Tennessee has a few that, uh, you know, you know the, the Daniel kid, but he's hurt. But you try to – and the Fulkerson kid, he's still hurt. But they, they – if you go – it's at Bearden High School, so if you're in Knoxville and you want to check those games out, they play every night. And it's just a way for the – Get, get with the community and uh, uh, see the new players that are coming around with Tennessee. And, uh, you know, the scores are 100 to 101, and they just kind of gun, and you got six foot ten guys taking three-point shots. But it's a lot of fun, and I think the admission is free. So you get you get a packed house and a lot of fun. You get to meet a lot of players. Sure. Pressing the flesh. Sure. Ball baseball, what's going on with it? Well, I've read well, your Reds are kind of struggling this year. Uh, yeah, that's an understatement. But they have promoted Nick Senzel, who was the third baseman in Tennessee a couple of years ago. He's one of the top 50 prospects in the uh, minor league system. And they promoted him from double to double A in the Reds system. So help is on his way for the Reds. <laughs> They're terrible. They yeah. can't play dead. I, mean, and I, you know, I heard you and Dave talking about Derek Carr getting a $25 million deal, and that's just wild. $25 million a year. That's amazing. To, you know, Kevin Durant takes a pay cut so they can re-sign Andre Iguodala mm-hmm. or whatever. I, if that's how you pronounce his last name. You know, that's pretty selfless. Carr, so, uh, $25 million a year. I don't even think he's ever played in a playoff game, has he? I mean, he was no, hurt he broke last, his leg year. last year. Yeah. yeah. So, Laughing all the way to know, the back. You know, for $25 million, he needs to uh, get him to a playoff game. Well. Here's the other thing, too. Kalawi Mike has got to be re-signed for the Raiders. Now he said, hmm, okay, old Derek's going to get 25. I may break the bank with him. And now Mari Cooper, the wideout from Alabama with the Raiders, he's come out and said, you know, I need probably to take a look at my contract, too. So I think it's going to push everybody up, and everybody all of a sudden is going to be on an ego trip and saying, Kevin Armand's getting that. I want to get that, too. So I think it'll be a ripple effect across the NFL. For yeah, and all. you think of Khalil Sitting Mack up. is a heck of a player. Oh, he's a man among boys. Yeah, he went to Buffalo. Yeah. And he's a beast. talk about a miss. <laughs> he is a the, beast. Yeah, he no is. Question. He is. He's probably one of the best pass rushers there is or are right now. And uh, Mark Cooper's not bad. No, he's pretty good. <laughs> so no what slouch. do you do? No. What are you going to do? You're right. I mean, they got a lot of young talent there. They should do some good things. Open up the checkbook and pay them for what you yeah. do. Yeah. Before I let him go, give me an update a little closer to home. We usually talk about the balls, but give me a little update on ETSU basketball. No, I was reading this this morning, and I uh, see where Peter Jerkins trying to get another year of eligibility, and they haven't heard yet. The big thing I wanted to mention is that Coach Forbes is holding the Little Bucks basketball camp. Uh, uh, I think it's next weekend. It's ages 5 to 8. And if you have a kid 5 to 8 and you want him to sort of get some exposure or just have some fun, really, um, contact ETSU basketball and get him in this camp. I'm not sure what the cost is, if there is a cost. Um, but it's a pretty cool thing that ETSU does. Real estate going good? Real estate's going real good. Yeah. Closing Monday. There you go. I like your shirt, Century 21 yeah, Legacy. Yeah, that little pink stuff. Got that little right. raspberry thing yeah. going. Good job. Yeah. You little, back next week? A little Nike swoosh. Should like be. It. I don't see why not. Yeah. Unless we float away. Oh, we'll be all right. It's going to be done by When Saturday. is Cindy going to be out of here? She'll be out of here by early Saturday morning. Okay. Moving on up the coast. So... But really, well, it's raining, but it's not. Well, this came in the Gulf, right? Mm-hmm. And came it's supposed to be coming up through Arkansas, mm-hmm. Omaha, by the way, of Texas and all this stuff. Right on up through West Virginia, right on up through the Atlantic seaboard. So Making quite a sweep. Yeah. Well, it'll make us greener. That's it. That's how you look at it. You can never complain about rain because in no. July we'll be wishing we had it. In August, dog days, yeah. the ground will be cracked and we go, where's the rain? You know, you're only 60 days or so from kickoff. I know. Isn't that amazing? You're 155 days of Christmas. That's right. Davis starts band camp August the 9th, yeah. which is just about a month away. And we're 58 days away from the Bass Pro Shop NRA Night Race at Bristol. So, now what date is that on? August the 19th. August the 19th. Yeah, Bristol Motor Speedway. All right, good man. Good job, as always. Give me some sir. traders. Love. Give so much to the show. Quick break. We'll be right back. Cletus going to join us. Cletus. Sales manager here at Champion Chevrolet next here on the Tom Taylor Sports Show. 
at American Import and Auto Repair in Johnson City. One of the things that owner Tim Smith is most proud of is their hard-earned certifications. We are an ASE Blue Seal shop, which is important because what it tells the customer is we care enough to get certified, not in one certain area of cars. You have to be certified in eight different certifications, in eight different tests you have to take, and you have to be updated on them yearly to to make sure that you're uh, up to date. We not only have one of those, we have three ASE Master Technicians here. With the ratio it goes into a ratio, and it's, we're a Blue Seal shop, so uh, it tells you that we we care about training and we care about knowing about your car. We want to help fix it right. American Import and Auto Repair, West Market Street, Johnson City, home of the free loaner car program. Open six days a week. Call today, 913-3111. Hi, I'm Rob Cole with Bays Mountain Park. There's something for everyone at Bays Mountain Park. Whether you're an outdoor enthusiast or simply looking to get away and relax, Bays Mountain Park in Kingsport, Tennessee is the perfect destination. For only $4 per vehicle, enjoy 3,500 acres of breathtaking scenery, featuring 40 miles of hiking trails, wildlife habitat, one of the southeast premier planetariums, and much, much more. For more information, please visit www.baysmountain.com or call us at 423-229-9447. Bays Mountain Park, one of the Tri-Cities' best places for learning, leisure, and recreation. If you're catching some waves or just playing in the yard, it is important to protect yourself. You may not feel the sun's heat, but UV rays can still damage your skin even in cloudy weather. Blue Lizard Sunscreen, recommended by pharmacists and dermatologists nationwide. Our SPF 30-plus formulations use only the highest quality ingredients for broad-spectrum protection. As a reminder to protect yourself, our bottle turns blue when UV light is present. Blue Lizard. We've got you covered. Your life is always changing. You never know what shape it will take or how your financial needs might change. But if we talk about your investments and how they can provide for you and your family, the future becomes clear. At Wells Fargo Advisors, we believe conversation leads to financial clarity. Let's start a conversation today. I'm at the Tom Taylor Sports Show. we got a few minutes left here before we're going to roll out here. You know, here's a happy problem. Cletus says, and they said, we got so many deals going, uh, we can't get, get over there today. And I totally understand that. So it comes first. So uh, Tim said, Tom, you can do it. I said, yes, sir, I can do it. So here we go. Here's some of the specials going on right now here at Champion Chevrolet for the month of June. Again, it is... 15% off HD, all HD trucks with gas engines here at Champion Chevrolet. $11,000 off all crew and double cab LT trucks, all-star package. Again, $11,000 off right off the top NF MSRP. Again, the Equinox, 2017 Equinox LT models, 20% off all those. The 2017 Traverse LT models, 20% off all those. Also, the Volts. 0% APR for 60 months on all the volts here at Champion Chevrolet. Also, one of those name brands been around for years, the Impalas. 0% APR for 60 months on the Impalas in lieu of a $500 rebate. So uh, that's another great way to save here again at Champion Chevrolet. Then also the Corvette Stingrays, 13% off those. Again, and those are just some of the deals. Again, go to the website, championjc.com. It's all there. You can call them at 282-2121. Either way, uh, you can get the information you need here from Champion Chevrolet. Then, don't forget, as we've been telling you, to go to the website, pepsi-fireworks.com, and check out how you can get qualified to win a tooth brand spanking new, no strings attached, they toss you the keys, and it's done. It's yours forever. 
a 2017 Sonic LS, over $17,000 value. Again, you can win that coming up a week from Tuesday at the July 4th celebration of Freedom Mall here in Johnson City. Pepsi-Fireworks.com. And again, it is... Uh, chance for you to get out and see some great music. Ashley Tragler and Six Gun, Jimbo Whaley and Greenbrier, Austin Moody, uh, Claire Dunn, who's opened up for Luke Bryan and Florida Georgia Line. She's going to be there in concert. All this happening to the free event on Tuesday, July the 4th at Freedom Hall, Johnson City. Champion Chevrolet giving away a 2017 Sonic LS over $17,000 value. So, again, either go to their website, championjc.com or go to the Pepsi dash fireworks.com website and uh, check it out for yourself so that's all coming up again a week from tuesday july the 4th hard to believe july 4th is right around the corner but it is before we get out of here let's update you on major league baseball some of the scores going on this afternoon day games we'll run down the schedule for you again daniel norris pitching tonight for the detroit tigers in seattle and let's see let's run them down for you major league baseball uh let's see what we got going on so far here we have at 105, for everything starts in just a few minutes. So nothing's really cranked up yet. Cardinals at Philadelphia at 105. At 110, Chicago, the White Sox at Minnesota. Other afternoon games, Toronto at Texas. You've got Houston at Oakland. Also this afternoon, Pittsburgh wraps up their series in Milwaukee against the Brewers in a 210 first pitch. At 3 o'clock this afternoon, Arizona, Colorado. Tonight, under the lights, you have Cleveland of Baltimore, the Angels in New York. Detroit, Daniel Norris on the mound at 4-4 four four will be taking on the Seattle Mariners in the Pacific Northwest. Again, that'll be a 4-4 four and four start for Daniel Norris on his record tonight, the young man out of Johnson City. Also in the National League tonight, under the lights, you have the Cubs in Miami, San Francisco in Atlanta against Jaime Garcia and the Braves, and the New York Mets will mercifully, uh, I would think, wrap up their series in L.A. against the Dodgers and get out of town because it's, it's been a tough, tough sl- uh, s- Sledding, I should say, for the New York Mets in Los Angeles against the Dodgers. That's a look there. Also, Appalachian League Baseball, it is scheduled. I think they're all in jeopardy, to be honest with you, but we'll have to wait and see. Opening nights, you have in Greenville, the Astros hosting Bluefield. Here in Johnson City, the Cardinals hosting the Bristol Pirates. And Elizabeth and the Twins hosting the Danville Braves. Kingsport travels tonight at Burlington, and Princeton will be at Pulaski tomorrow. And so that's what's going on there for the Appalachian League Baseball. I do want to say thanks to our guest, Joe Schmeling, again, the CEO of the uh, Super Cup Stock Car Series. Also, Carmichael stopped by. Also, Kristen Martin from here at Champion Chevrolet. And the Internet sells at championjc.com. Kevin Harmon, of course, just now at the UT Sports Report. Thank all those folks here. Again, as we wrap up show number 544 here at Champion Chevrolet on the Bristol Motor Mile in Johnson City. Tomorrow, we'll be live. We'll be at... Blue Lizard Australian Sunscreen, our first stop ever there. Can't wait. We're going to be joined by Dave Martin from Cincinnati, WLW Radio. Carmichael's going to call in tomorrow and reassess the NBA draft from tonight. Josh Lawson's going to join us from the Kingsport Mets with some tickets giveaway to a future came out baseball game. So all that and more coming up tomorrow as we're going to be on the road again at Blue Lizard Australian Sunscreen in their uh, plant in South Johnson City, one of the 10 fastest growing small businesses in the country. Blue Lizard Australian Sunscreen, as the Jeff Bedard told us a couple of weeks ago, just signed a contract to be the official sunscreen of the Boston Red Sox, which is awesome. That starts next year. They're already the official sunscreen of the Chicago Cubs and also the New York Yankees, which is <clears throat> which is awesome. So all that coming up again tomorrow will be at Blue Lizard Australian Sunscreen. We'll be there uh, at the factory, and we're going to, after the show, we're going to flip on the camera, and we're going to go around and give you a quick mini tour of the Blue Lizard uh, factory, how they crank out this great product known as Blue Lizard Australian Sunscreen. And so this is the product when you put the uh, tube out in the sun, When the cap turns blue, that means there's UV rays out there, and that means you need to slather on Blue Lizard. And so we'll talk about that and and more with Jeff Bedard, the founder and CEO tomorrow at Blue Lizard Australian Sunscreen. Cannot wait to be there. It's going to be a lot of fun. Big thanks to Tim and and Kristen and Cletus here again at Champion Chevrolet. Andy away on assignments. He'll be back with us next week. We're out of time. We sincerely thank you for yours. When you watch this show, be sure and like us and share us. And a big thanks to Appalachian Digital doing the social media for me. Can't thank them enough for Jeremiah Clark and Michael Smith. Uh, They do a great job, and they can help you too at AppalachianDigital.com. 
www.thebigshowradio.com. And again, when you watch our show, be sure and like us and share us. We had 24 new views just yesterday. We thank you so very much for that. And we got some big news coming out about uh, several things here on the show in the uh, not-too-distant future. We're going to take it on the road. Looking forward to doing that even more so than we are now. So uh, big news about that coming up. We're going to release that probably next week and let you know about that. So it's going to be a lot of fun to make that announcement. And some other things coming up. Got a new show we're getting ready to, to uh, unveil, and we'll do that too. Another show and another day. Uh, so we're going to keep on doing sports here on the uh, Facebook page. Again, uh, again, Twitter at Tom Taylor Sports. Facebook at Tom, at Tom Taylor Sports Show. And, of course, the website, TomTaylorSports.com. And just click on Listen Live, and there we be. So, again, we're done here at Champion Chevrolet. We're out of time. We sincerely thank you for yours. So until we re-greet you tomorrow at 11 o'clock from Blue Lizard Australian Sunscreen Showroom and Factory in South Johnson City, until then, we'll tell you, as always, win or lose, be a good sport. So long, everybody. <laughs>